Hold on a second. Hello? Hello, everybody. What's going on? Sorry, my stream deck was not working for a second there. Hopefully you can all see the video now and hear my voice. Hello, hello. How's everybody doing? Welcome on in. How are you all doing? Can you see audio or video? Yes, yes, you can. I always forget that the stream is just like a little bit delayed. What's going on, everybody? How you all doing today? Oh, welcome in, welcome in. So nice to see so many familiar faces. I hope you are all having a wonderful day. We have quite a bit planned out, quite a bit planned out today. I'm doing great, Claire. Thank you so much for asking. How are you all doing? Um, yeah, so we have a couple of things planned out for today. Well, I wanna do the sawmill build today, but I figured we can kind of like go with starting some villager trades as well. And maybe we can kind of like get a Fletcher into like the sawmill that we build and stuff like that. So it's all going to start connecting and I just really want to get like villager trades going. So I want to do like Fletcher for sticks and at least get a mending book. So we're not going to be destroying our beautiful, beautiful tools that we have here. Yo, Nils, what's going on? Rubal, Anna, Rocket, what's going on everybody? How are you all doing? Uh, am I planning on another Let's Play yet? Not, not yet, because um, if some of you follow me on Twitter, you'll see that uh, I have a new series coming out with a couple of people. We're all very excited about it. I can finally talk about it now. It's called Bloodlines. It's basically a lore-based SMP with me, walkdown builds, frog crafting, wax fraud, Mr. B, Stobbles, Sev, Brookella, and it's like, we're all very, very excited about it. It's going to be very story driven. There will be building involved too, obviously, as there always is with like Minecraft and stuff like that, but it's going to be super, super fun. Yo, Azzy, what's going on? Welcome in. It's great to see you. Hope you had a great day. I am having a wonderful day. I hope you are as well. But um, yeah, if you all want to see like a couple of, um, couple of promo vids, I think I have nightbot for my twitter yeah go check out my twitter for sure and i've been retweeting a bunch of stuff so you'll all be able to see it there which will be pretty cool so yeah we're really really excited that's going to be dropping in yes yeah, sev is on it too and it's going to be dropping i think on the weekend is what we have planned so september 25th I am very, very stoked for all of you to see it. It's been something that we've been keeping secret for quite a while. We've been working on it for quite a long time. What is this song? <laughs> There's so much like, you know what this is? This is music that I use in my videos for like little cheeky moments that like somehow made it into this like let's play. Oh, it's because I'm just using liked sounds right now, not my let's play uh, stream list that was really funny it was like what is that <laughs> oh my gosh all right let's let's get to work on some of this stuff so we're gonna be building a sawmill out in this area over here where we have like our little taiga trees that we've been uh doing so i'll show you all kind of like the general area it's on the riverbed right here Yo, Mrs. Platypus, thank you so much for that $10 donation. I will mostly be lurking. Have a wonderful stream. Thank you so, so much. I really, really appreciate it. Can I get some big swags in chat for Mrs. Platypus? Swag. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Yo, Block, what's going on? How's it going? How do I get my idea? Um, my idea is an inspiration. Honestly, I've said it before pinterest for sure in terms of like um if you're looking for reference images they have i find that pinterest is a really good place to find like really good reference photos for like fantasy style builds and like pretty much any style of build really mainly and, and block down i guess too i guess you can have that one I, i'm gonna be nice to you today block down <laughs> block down is my muse <laughs> So we're gonna be making like a cute little um, sawmill in this area. 
but I need to gather a couple of resources before we start on it. I know I'm gonna need a bunch of spruce as well. I'm also very, very thankful that we got this ax sorted and all of my diamond tools and stuff like that. It has been so much easier to do things. Yo, Roderick, what's going on? How are you doing? Pinterest is the place. Agree. I totally agree, Claire. There's just like so much like browsing you can do and you can find so much inspiration on it. It's great. Yo, Fix, what's going on? How are you doing? Welcome on in. It's so nice to have you here. Shout out to Fix It as well. Another great content creator. Um, he's in Dominion SMP. You do a lot of hardcore stuff and also you're a streamer on YouTube. So definitely, definitely recommend checking out Fix. Yo, Mitch, what's going on? Are we getting comfy cozy? I hope we all are. Are we getting comfy cozy chat? I really, really hope we are. I know I'm all, I'm all cozy right now. <gasps> Ruth, hello. Hi, Ruth. <gasps> we don't have any fish for Ruth? Really? Is that how it's gonna be? Oh, I forgot it's nighttime. I gotta sleep first. We gotta get, okay, that's, that's the first thing on the list. No bed, really? Why do I keep doing this to myself? I'm acting like, I'm out here acting like somebody wronged me, but I wronged myself. All right, let's go, let's go sleep. I'm scared. Uh-oh, no, no, no. We're just gonna like divert a little bit. <gasps> Who's that I see? Somebody's paying us a visit. Wait, where'd he go? Oh, he's invisible right now, okay. I'm gonna deal with that in a second. Hold on a second. <laughs> Ooh, you're making a cozy garden right now, nice. How long am I streaming for? I think I'm gonna be going for um, until 5 p.m. Eastern time because I have something to do afterwards. Uh, what time is it now? So about three hours. It might be a little bit of a shorter stream today, but if I have time tomorrow, I'm going to do another stream. I'd like to. Yo, Alexandra, what's going on? Welcome in. So what's on the agenda today? We're gonna be building a sawmill and then we're gonna be putting a Fletcher villager in there so we can start getting some good trades and ultimately get the mending book. Uh-oh, what is going on here? There we go. I know there's other mobs around. I'm a little bit scared, but that's all right. You've been catching up on the streams, watching you try to catch Ruth was great. It took a long time, right? <laughs> a long, long time. All right, yeah, it's wandering trader time. There he is. Hello. Y'all, I just, I just, just look away. My stream lab, my stream deck doesn't work right now, so I can't do the classic BRB screen, so. <laughs> I didn't even check to see what he was trading, but honestly, the leads are enough for me. Ow! I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> My gosh. <sighs> uh, he despawned. It's fine. Honestly, my game was lagging so much there. That's so odd. I don't know why, like, I thought I was hitting a mob, but accidentally I hit the wandering trader. Like, that's so weird. I don't know why that happened. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go in here and check out some of the resources that we have, because I need to figure out... Oh, look at all the leather I have. I did not realize that. Uh, leads. I didn't even get any leads from that, really? I thought... I'm a little disappointed with that. All right. And if you all noticed, my, uh, my storage system is still in proper working order. If you noticed that, look how nice it is. I know, I know. You can all... you can all say it. Drift, wow. This is amazing, this is so pretty. I mean, ooh, look at this, organization. But like, for real, now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, it's organized, but there's also like nothing in it. We've got enough mossy cobble. I'm gonna need some more cobblestone, some regular stone. Okay, what do we got for spruce? Oh no, I have, why do I have this on here? I forgot to take Lightmatica off. Uh, Spruce logs. We've got terracotta. Okay, so we're gonna need... We got enough oak, I think. We're gonna need some more spruce. 
We're gonna need some more stone. Uh, and dark oak. I don't think we have dark oak yet, so I think that we're gonna have to all go on an adventure together. What mods do I use? Um, I use complementary shaders and germs better leaves. And as you saw, I have light Matica installed usually to like place my builds, like save my schematics from like creative worlds, put them in other creative worlds, stuff like that. And also world edit sometimes. But for like the, all the purposes of this stream, just, just the shaders and the resource pack for the leaves. Drift, wow, this is amazing, so pretty. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, I really appreciate it. Hee <laughs> hee. Wow, I'm so proud, I'm so proud. I honestly am though, cause like usually by now, like it would have lasted a week, the organization, but now it's like, it's crispy fresh still. You're doing some drawing and practicing while you watch a stream. Oh, that's so lovely. Well, I hope you have a good time with your drawing. You've been reliably informed that the watering trader was in cahoots with the pillagers. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> also, what's going on, Jag? How you doing? All right, we're going to have to go on a little bit of a mission for um, Dark Oak. And I believe there's a Dark Oak forest around here somewhere, kind of by that swamp biome. We're going to need a lot of it. So wait, before I forget. Sorry. This is like the beginning of every stream. I just like lose focus. We need a bed. We need a bed before we do anything. There's the leads. Yay. And maybe I should bring the chest boat. Maybe. I don't know. Welcome to the beginning of the stream where I forget about every single thing that I own in this game and it's all new to me and I'm like, ooh, shiny, so nice. Dark Oak is your favorite wood type. I honestly have been loving it for like trim and stuff like that on a, ooh, sun shower. Very nice. But I like using it as um, trim for builds. Just gonna take a sip of water. Should you order some overpriced coffee or pause the stream and go get it? Ooh, that's a tough choice. Cause usually I end up ordering it, but sometimes I regret it. If it's only gonna be a couple minutes, like it's not too much taking, like taking too much of your time away. I say, I say go get it. Go for like a nice little stroll if it's nice out. It's cause now I'm organized. I don't know where everything is, anything is anymore. It's true. It's true. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know. Like, it, that's the problem with organization for me is like, there is a method to the madness for the like wild storage system that I had before. I could just take this bed. I think that would actually work better. Uh, chat, where did I put wool? I don't think I have a spot for wool now. See, this is this is a problem. Where do you put wool? Uh, let's, let's just put it in here for now. And that, my friends, was the beginning of the end to my perfect organization. <laughs> it's done now after that. I made one slip up and now I'm just gonna, everything's just gonna be a mess. Yo, Pockets, what's going on? How are you doing? Yes, I'm a little bit, I had to start a little bit early today because um, I don't think I'm gonna be able to stream for as long as I'd like to. So I wanted to get a little bit of a head start. Yo, Frogger, what's going on? Welcome in. Organization is overrated. I found my people here. I found my people. Store wool in a chest near the sheeps. Yes, it, okay, that's a good idea. We'll just organize it that way for sure. All right, while we're here, I know we're on the hunt for all of the dark oak and that stuff, but let's grab some of these oak trees as well because you just can't go wrong. We're gonna need it. We're building like a sawmill today. Is it a sawmill that like, or a logging mill? What is the, what is the right terminology for it? Cause I kept typing in sawmill and I was like, don't know if that one's right. Yo, Nap Ninja, what's going on? How are you doing? It's so nice to see you here. You've received information that the wandering trader was a scout sent from the pillager king. See? See? He's a spy. He com he comes in being like, hey, oh, that scared me. 
The wandering trader comes around being like, hey, look at these amazing things I have to offer. But there's a price that you pay with that. Not to be trusted. I'm guessing this is my fortune axe? I think so. Yes. I mean, the, I'm assuming so because the other one was called Silky Swag, so... <laughs> This is why I get chat to name all of my stuff. <laughs> all right, let's head up here. I think we're kind of taking the roundabout way to get to the dark forest, but that's all right. Who doesn't love a little bit of an adventure at the beginning of stream, right? There we go. If I remember correctly, it is kind of like beyond this hill. I'm pretty sure. You know what? I'm actually going to silk touch some of these as well, like the coal bits, because I really like to integrate those into builds, like having piles of like coal and stuff outside of builds. It looks pretty cool. So, whoa, this is really pretty. I always forget how nice the terrain is in this seed. OK, but now, ah, uh, uh. Oh no, my water bucket is just a bucket. All right, just slowly out, but surely make our way down. Let's go. Woo. Woo -hoo -hoo. All right, let's grab our chest boat. And that was not, I did not intend to do that. <laughs> Chat, I'm a mess today. I am a big mess today. Ooh, spooky. The view is marvelous. Honestly, it's the mountaintops now because of 118 are just like absolutely spectacular. I love it so much. We got to like build something on top of these mountains or something, maybe like a watchtower. Will lava break your fall the same way water does? Yeah, it'll just it'll just crisp up your feet just a little bit though. Just a tiny bit. Nothing nothing to be concerned about. Alright, let's go off this way. I'm like 90% sure it's off this way. I don't know. We'll see. I, we've gotta hit one at some point though. So happy this stream is today. Something fun to watch while doing computer training at work. Oh, well, so happy you're here, Benjamin. Thanks for hanging out. And I'm glad I'm keeping you company. Am I really going to build Shrek's Swamp House? Honestly, I feel like we should. I feel like we've got it. I remember we talked about it last stream, and I, I think it would be a fun one that we did for like a little, maybe like towards Halloween or something like that, you know? Block, are you just trying to get people to, like, give you OP gear on the server? Because <laughs> honestly, if you are, I respect that. <laughs> yeah, so I, I labeled this stream as with commentary just because I'll like I'm talking through it. And a lot of people who find my videos are kind of more used to some of the mean without commentary. So I just honestly, it's funny because like most people don't have to specify. But because, like, I do so many long plays, I think it's good for me to... Uh-oh. No, no. Ah! You saw nothing. Oh. Can I fix this up quickly? We gotta patch it up. We gotta patch it up. Just quickly. I only have so much dirt, though. I am sorry, sheep, but you are in the way. That was a little bit of a disaster, wasn't it? There we go. I'm doing my best here. I'm doing my best. That should be okay. Goodbye, friend. It was nice to meet you. Okay, I am starting to be, become a little bit skeptical about this so-called dark forest that I was so confident about previously. I don't know why I thought I saw one this way. <laughs> Have I even been this way before? I'm not sure. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, we'll see you later, Block. Thank you so much for popping in. That would be really dope to make and recreate Shrek's house. I know, I'm, think I'm thinking we kind of got it. It'd be fun, it'd be fun. Ah. 
All right, I'm not so sure about this after all. <laughs> oh no, I'm just out here getting myself lost. There's more taiga. Oh, chat, why did I do this? What? Okay, let's let's grab the boat again and see what's up. Let's see what's up. Yo, Rofo with the two month membership. Absolutely swagged out of my mind. Rofo, thank you so much for that channel membership. Two months, can I get a swag in chat for Rofo? How you doing, bud? What's going on? Now that he's gone, yeah, now that Block's gone. <laughs> you can you can come and chat in peace. Have I done a one block sky block? Um, I've actually, I have not yet, but it is something that kind of is on my radar that I would really like to uh, give a shot one day for sure. Rofo swag, let's go. Boom. All right. So I think I was wrong about there being a dark forest around here. Surprise, surprise. I'm like almost just committed to keep going in this direction, but I'm also scared I'm just gonna get lost now. <laughs> like, oh, Chat, refresh my memory. Have we ever come across a dark forest together? I don't remember. I don't remember if we have. I won't do one with you. Block, I would love to do a one bo block. Oh, I spoke too soon. I see a mushroom. Yes, let's go. I would, I would totally do one with you. Shall we reunite? Origins days. Let's do it. I would be totally down. You're doing good. You just got off the helicopter and you're on your way home. Oh, nice. Very nice. Well, I'm happy to hear that you're finally on your way home too. And that you've had safe travels. You think it would be cool to um, see a playthrough just to kind of get your get in your head about how you do it. Honestly, yeah, I would be super, super down to try it out because it looks like a very unique challenge, I would say. Because it's Minecraft, but it's very, it's also very, very different in some ways from like what I've seen. I feel like I would actually be like kind of terrible at it, but in a good way, you know? Like it'd be entertaining to watch me just absolutely struggle because I'm sure there's like a pretty like set strategy to like how to do skyblock properly and i know i would probably panic but it'd be fun though it'd be a good kind of panic you know dark oak dark oak let's go i'm so excited we found this i was actually starting to become a little bit skeptical i was like when did i see this but alas, here we are. I'm gonna grab some of this mushroom too, just because mushroom blocks are so OP. I love them. They're super cute to build with. So let's grab some of these while we're at it. And then I'm just gonna grab a bunch of dark oak. And of course some of the saplings. Oh, I didn't use silky swag. No! I thought I was using silky swag. Oh, why? Oh, I bet you're all watching like, <laughs> this is awkward. Just watching me absolutely destroy that mushroom. Oh no. Oh geez. GG on 150k. Oh, thank you so much. I really appreciate that, Bricks. And thank you so much, Simon. That's very, very nice of you guys to say. I know it's it's wild. I hit it the other day and I was like, that's it's crazy. It's still crazy to me. And I and I say this a lot. It's it's literally all thanks to all of you for like coming in and hanging out and like chilling with me. And I just I really genuinely love like the community that we have here. It's super, super nice. It's already it's only like what? 27 minutes in and I'm already getting cheesy. Come on. Come on, Drift. All right, now we have a bunch. Of you know what? The mushrooms are good for like putting them in plant pots. So I'm not going to complain about that. <laughs> it's all it's all good. Um, Do I think I'm ever going to do a live stream on Camp Cozy? Yes, definitely. I would totally love to. Um, I might try to get one in sooner rather than later. I do have a plan for what I want to do, except I don't want to spoil it yet. 
because I want it to be a little bit of a surprise. Um, but yeah, definitely, definitely going to be doing some Camp Cozy streams as well. And for viewers who don't know what Camp Cozy is, it's basically like a server that me and Blockdown have built uh, with the help of some just like incredible people who have just like poured their hearts into it with us. And it's basically just like a little server with an SMP, a creative hub, and an events world. Um, and you can access it through like our Discord by reaching level 20 through chatting. Uh, you could join one of our channels for the memberships or you could boost the server. There's many different ways. If you're if anybody's interested, you could check out the Discord, the Kickback Club. But yeah, it's it's been a it's been a really good time. You love the streams, they have such a lo-fi vibe. Oh, that makes me so happy to hear. Yeah, I I love chilling with y'all. It's just like a fun, chill time. Even when I go into the nether, y'all have my back there anyway, so it's scary, but it's fun. <laughs> I was thinking maybe soon what we need to do though is get like a spawner of some sort going as well. We, we really need to find one. All I've found so far are cave spider spawners and I know it's not as great for loot, but like honestly, I might just end up building something out of it just to get the XP because we're kind of struggling lately just going constantly going into the nether to like mine, what is it? The, um, I keep forgetting what it's called. Quartz, yes, that's quartz. But it's just becoming such a such a task now that I'm like, I don't even know if it's worth it anymore. So I think that's definitely on the list as well. We need to kind of update that list that we have for the to-do. These weekly live streams are literally everything to me right now. You just love it. Oh, that makes me so happy to hear. I literally, like, I look forward to going live every week. It's so fun. So, so fun. Yeah, I'm thinking of mob farm too, eh? Like I, it's just like gotten to the point where it's like gaining XP has been such a pain that it's just, it's more trouble than it's worth now. And I think that if we just spend some time, even making like a cave spider spawner would be like ideal because I was thinking about it. I was using one on the SMP the other day and I was like, it's get, it drops good loot. Like you do need spider eyes for some stuff and string, like you can use that for a lot of things like including candles and stuff like that so i think i think it's about time that we set one up all right i'm gonna head back because i've got enough dark oak probably but we have the saplings too i think that's pretty much all we need from this biome now the trick is uh oh what what was that oh it's my free cam oh my gosh that was scary see i have all these like random plugins and stuff <laughs> that i forget that I have and it's terrifying and then I accidentally click it and I'm like what is that happens to me a lot with world edit too if I have like um world edit still installed when I'm doing a long play I always have to take it out because obviously the first thing I usually make in a long play is um a wooden axe and it's just like it's a nightmare <laughs> it's always like set position and I'm like no I don't want to do that <laughs> I don't want to do that. I think I have it enabled right now. I should probably take that off too. It'd be sick if we could find a skelly spawner. I know I want to find one so bad, but I haven't been able to. All we have recent, like in this area, I swear is just, it's cave spiders. I don't know why. Drives me nuts. Can I find mangrove? We actually found a huge one um, a while back. It's probably one of the biggest mangroves I've ever seen, to be honest. And it's like next to like a really giant jungle biome as well. I'm actually gonna lay my bed here really quickly. Yo, Patil, what's going on? How are you doing? I'm doing great. Hope you're having a lovely day. Yo, Jack, what's going on? Welcome in. How are you doing? Cave spider farms would be more viable if they gave you venom flasks or something, right? I wish we had an option like that. Sorry, I'm just checking out this area because usually there's like some, oh yes, emeralds. There's emeralds and there's usually like a good amount of coal as well. I've got a lot of garbage in here, don't I? Classic. There we go. Grab all this coal.
what are my plans for today? So today we're going to be building a little bit of a sawmill and hopefully eventually getting a villager into it. This might be a little bit of a two-parter stream because stream's going to be um, cut short a little bit today just because I, I have to do something at a, like past five o'clock. Um, so I might do a quick little stream tomorrow and finish everything up. Cause I want to get started on some villager trading and stuff like that. I think it'll, I think it's about time. It's going to really help us out. Yeah. The mountains have so many exposed ores. Like I find that I have way more trouble finding, um, I, like coal and well, iron's still okay to find in caves, but I, I find I have way more luck finding like iron and coal on top of, on top of mountains instead. Which I kind of prefer. I kind of like it. It makes it makes early game easier in some ways, you know? You have those resources like ready and available to you. You don't have to even go into a cave anymore necessarily. Okay, I think this is the river close to our home. I'm pretty sure. Can I do another let's play? Another let's play will definitely happen in the future. I, um... Because I have like bloodlines and stuff coming up very soon and also like a couple of other things that I'm doing, uh, I'm probably going to put it on hold until probably like a month or so from now, but definitely, definitely. I really, I really do miss doing like the Let's Play stuff. And also with the Let's Play as well, I've still been trying to kind of like find exactly what style. Oh. There's my house. Okay. That's ideal. Um, but with the let's play, I'm still kind of like trying to figure out exactly what direction I want to take it in, like the ed in terms of editing style, because I went a little bit more like quicker pace towards the end of the series. And like, I really liked that editing style in terms of like storytelling, but I think I kind of started skimming over a couple of Thing, like too many things at once like kind of like the building fundamentals that I originally did in the series because at, at the beginning of the series I found that I was very build focused and stuff like that and I kind of dialed that back a little bit and started focusing more on the story but I think I need to find like a good blend between two those two styles will I ever play modded so I tried um origins with block down row phone frog crafting and it was like really fun I think it had like the Terralith mod and stuff like that and it was like it was super super fun I would try some other mods even like aesthetic mods things like that I would be down yo Sam what's going on welcome in sorry I'm just taking a sip of water again Skyblock would be a fun challenge to do for sure. I've heard like many good things about it. It would be like a nice, like I find that um, those do really well as like mini series or something like that. Maybe I'll kind of like start something similar to that before I dive back into like another big let's play. I'm joining Bloodlines. Yeah, I'm super, super excited for it. Our videos are dropping on the 25th of September. Uh, okay. I think I would consider these decoration blocks, so I'm just gonna leave that. Actually, no, they're more so like... Yeah, we'll just leave them in here for now. But yeah, I'm very, very, um, excited for you all to see what Bloodlines is about. It's very, uh, like, it's very lore-based. I'm gonna say that. Like, it, there's like a fully fleshed out story that we're trying to follow. So... It's going to be more so focusing on like our journeys throughout like the story that we've like put ourselves in kind of like less on building. Obviously, we're still building homes and stuff like that, but like I kind of skim over it and focus on like the storyline instead. It's it's going to be really cool and I'm, I'm excited for you all to see it. All right, I'm going to get a chest going with all of the stuff that we're going to need for this build. Mm, where's my coal? Just do that. Yo, welcome back, Mitch. What's going on? Oh, it's your birthday on September 25th. Well, happy birthday on September 25th, and I hope you have a good day. Yo, Teddy, what's going on? Welcome in. How are you doing? So we're going to need all this stone. Let's put these mushroom blocks away, too. 
And then, I think we must have some chests, yeah. Can just grab a little double chest. And we're just gonna bring this all over to the area where we're gonna be building today. So we're gonna be starting our project on the other side of this little hill here. And I think what we're gonna do is connect a path going from the bridge over to here as well. Looks like we have a little bit of terraforming to do. It's a little bit messy over here and I need to just actually get rid of all these trees so I can work in this area, which is good because I'm gonna need the spruce anyway. So here, let's get our little double chest out. We'll start dropping in our little supplies. Mm. All the cobble. Okay, we're gonna need way more stone than that. Drop the coal over here, the leads. Don't know where those came from. Have no idea. <laughs> Bloodlines will be a great gift. Oh, well, I'm happy to hear that. I'm very, very excited that you're all like stoked about it. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a good time. Yo, Chloe, what's going on? How you doing? Drift livestream, oh, with Cocoa Pebbles. That sounds delicious. I have not had, I actually, wait, no, I don't even know if I've had Cocoa Pebbles. I think like maybe once in my life, because a lot of that like American cereals never really made its way to Canada, honestly, until recently. They've really started bringing American cereal here, but it took forever. Like, I remember in the 90s, there was a lot more options. Like we had like Cookie Crisp and all that stuff, but then it all kind of slowly started to disappear off of the shelves. But now it's all making a comeback. Yo, Holger, what's going on? How you doing? Welcome in. Did I really forget? Oh no. I'm glad I looked up. How did I forget that? Yeesh. Did we discuss favorite cereal yet? Not yet, but actually, I don't know if we have in past conversations. We might have, but now's the time. What's everybody's favorite cereal? <laughs> the food talk begins. Exactly. <laughs> what else is new? Uh... Yo, Carlos, what's going on? Welcome in. How you doing? Yeah, Reese Puffs. Oh my gosh. I used to be obsessed with Reese Puffs when I was little. I think that was one of my favorite for sure. I remember there used to be like this Pokemon cereal. It was like Lucky Charms. Ow. But with like um, Pokemon marshmallows. And that was pretty cool. Your favorite cereal is Fruit Loops. You don't really like cereal? Honestly, okay, I'm kind of like in the camp where like I don't eat a lot of cereal because I don't like milk. So if I eat cereal, it's just gonna be like with nothing. So I'm kind of like in the same way, but like when I was a kid, I liked all the sugary cereals, you know? But if I were to choose like a favorite cereal now, I feel like I would choose like, I don't know, something kind of... I didn't think this tree was gonna go up that far. Yo, Carrie, what's going on? Thank you so much for the $70 donation. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much, Carrie. I really, really appreciate it. Sadly, you're at work popping in to say hi and hope you have, hope you and chat have a fabulous day. Oh, thank you so much, Carrie. I hope you're having a great day at work regardless. And thank you so much for popping in for that just wonderful donation. I really appreciate it. Let's get some big swags in chat for Carrie. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Oh, oh, <laughs> I'm not doing too well with this tree cutting today. I don't know why. I think I'm just very distracted and very excited. So I'm just like, ow. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot what, oh yes, the cereal, the cereal. Okay, so my like boring cereal, I feel like one of my favorite boring cereals has to be life cereal. Is it called life? Yeah, I think it is. <laughs> it's like, it's literally just like those weird little like crispy square thingies, you know? They're so good. <laughs> Gotta eat my steak. Gotta remember. All right, we're nearly done with chopping down all these trees. What is this? Is this just like a double, what? 
Why does this tree look like it's like bigger than most? Did I accidentally like plant two beside each other or something like that? Life is slept on the cereal is awesome, right? It has like those little like chunks of sugar in it. It's so good. And also like they have the cinnamon flavor too. And it's just like delicious. I love, I love that cereal. That's one I can get behind, I think. You'll watch the VOD when you get home. Aw, oh, nice, nice. Yeah, this is like a mega, mega taiga. Mega taiga squared or something. The cinnamon and the honey nut flavor are the best. Oh, for life? Yeah, the cinnamon one is so good. It's been a hot minute since I've had some cereal. I was like on like a really big um, granola kick recently though. Ow. <laughs> I don't know why I keep doing this, but uh, yogurt and granola with like honey and berries. Mm. I was like on a kick for, for that for like months. It felt like I haven't had it in a while though. I don't know why. I should start having that again though. All right, we're gonna have to fix this up because I kind of tore into this tree. So let's just like pillar up a little bit so we can get our little staircase going again. There we go. Right? Some of these trees are just like absolutely like they're massive. <laughs> like, there we go. This one's a little bit better. Uh oh. There we go. We're safe now. Excellent. Well, this kind of set us up for how much... Oh my gosh. Like, what is going on here, too? I'm gonna have to chop down, like, all of these, except maybe this one. But you know what? This is gonna set us up for, like, all of the spruce wood that we need anyway, so it's actually not even a bad thing. It's just funny how much there is. Oh my gosh. There we go. Well, guess we better keep going. Woohoo! Sorry, chat. Just trying to stay hydrated. You wish there were more variants of dogs. Yeah, you know what? I feel it, it's funny how many cats there are in the game. I mean, I'm not complaining because I love cats, but I find it funny how like there's not that many variants of like there's just one isn't there also oh i forgot i forgot we need to feed ruth you reminded me thank you <laughs> by talking about dogs we need to feed ruth I'm gonna do that right now because we were out of salmon and that's that's not acceptable that's not acceptable sorry we're getting sidetracked tracked chat <gasps> what how did i forget to do this there we go Oh my gosh. Things are not in order around here. What is going on? See, I thank you, chat. Ruth, Ruth is of the utmost importance. We must drop everything for her. We'll gather lots and lots of salmon. Real Ruth is like sitting, well, she's sleeping beside me right now. She's in a little, in her chair, having a nice nap, hanging out. She loves a good nap in the afternoon. She is the nap queen. And then like every day around six o'clock, she wakes up and she just like bullies me relentlessly until it's her dinner time. It's so sweet. <laughs> Lunch break is over. Have a good day, everyone. Glad I uh, got to join the stream. Oh, thank you so much for hanging out, Carly. We'll see you around. Yeah, we trailed off. <laughs> that's, a, that's a thing that happens lots around here. I, I like to call it um, side quests. We're just, we're just like fulfilling side quests, you know? There we go. And our side quest right now is feed Ruth. Ruth, I've got a gift for you. Hello? Why are you staring at the wall? There we go. 
Hello, I have a gift for you. There you go. All right, we'll put those away. You are so good, Ruth. Goodbye. <gasps> so sweet. Oh, that was worth it. <laughs> I don't know why, it just was. So we drifted. You could say that, Chloe. You could say that. Yeah, just slight distractions from the main course. It's okay. It's okay. It's it's all part of the fun. So many leaves. So many leaves. All right, let's start chopping down these last two trees, and then we're probably pretty much good. Then all we really need to do is gather a bunch of stone, I think. And we're pretty much ready to build this thing. You love banana peppers on your pizza. I actually haven't had banana peppers on pizza. I do love them on like hot dogs and stuff though. They, they're they very like vinegary, which is like, anything that's like super vinegary is just like good for me, you know? Pickles, hot, or banana peppers, pickled jalapenos, like so, so good. That's like one of my favorite things. I love to like just put those on everything. You like Hawaiian pizza? I love Hawaiian pizza too. Honestly, it's just like, I don't know, it's just perfect. It's it's the salt it's a salty and sweet combination, you know? You can't go wrong with it, honestly. <gasps> a house for Ruth. Yes, we've got to do a house for Ruth. You're right. We do have to get her off off the furnace, you know? I have to think of like a cute little house for her though. That will like fit Ruth's vibe. But I do agree because right now, like we can't put her in the windmill because the windmill has those chickens in it, milk and cookie. So that's occupied. We can't put her in the storage hut because we all know she's gonna go through my things and mess everything up. So you know what? We're gonna have to like make like a little cat house or something like that, you know? Your favorite is jalapeno and grilled mushroom. Mm, that sounds delicious. All right, last tree. So much spruce wood, look at that. Chat, I'm so, so very thankful that we got all of the um, enchanted, like, oh wait, <laughs> there's one more tree. <laughs> oh, okay. One more tree, one more tree, I see how it is. But we'll be thankful when it's done. We'll be thankful when it's done, right? I think. <laughs> Gosh, <laughs> why? <laughs> Oh. <laughs> okay, I've never had pickled garlic pickled garlic before, but I want to. I feel like it would be delicious. Ooh, a watchtower for Ruth so she can have a, a good view. I feel like she would love that. But the problem is getting Ruth into the watchtower. Burn it? Oh, I can't. I can't. I'm like, it's too valuable. The spruce is too valuable of a resource. Why burn it when I could just like literally build with it, right? That's the problem. Can't justify it. You're at a conundrum when you see chips discussed online. Do they mean in a bag or on a burger? Wait. Wait, what comes- oh, with a burger. I was like, on a burger. I was like, well, you can put chips on a burger. We have had this, like, it's like turned into a full-on argument in our Discord, though. We've had this argument in the Discord, like, plenty of times because it's like, all the people from the UK are like, chips are fries. And I'm like, mm -mm, chips are like potato chips. Yo, Matt, what's going on? Welcome on in. How are you doing? Make a tree farm. Ooh, anything redstone though. Ooh, I can't, I can't. Too hard. <laughs> but honestly, that would actually be like pretty good for me though. All right, we just need stone pretty much. And I think we're done. So we might as well just go on the part of the hill where we've been grabbing it. And I think we're pretty much ready to go. All right, let's go to our little stone gathering spot on top of this hill. 
This one, the, the silk touch isn't as fast, so we also need to get, I think we need efficiency on it. Yeah, it's only got unbreaking and silk touch on it. Definitely need to start getting those enchantments. And I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing pretty good. Just hanging out today, doing a stream. Uh, we're building like a little bit of like a sawmill. And I think we're going to put like a villager in it. I want to start getting villagers, villager trades in because I think we're at that point now where we're going to need them. But yeah, I'm doing great. You don't want to start fights, you're just a confused American. Oh yeah, no, 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 fair enough, fair enough. It's just gotten, it's, it wasn't even fights, it's just everybody in the Discord is just like so passionate about it for no reason. <laughs> it's so funny. But chips to me are potato chips, because I'm, I'm from Canada, so it's like, I can't not see it that way. But I think, I think in the UK they call them crisps, from what I believe, I'm pretty sure. I forgot my bed. <sighs> Guess we gotta go back down. I'm gonna need food soon too. Ow! We're gonna have to go feed the cows really quickly. Anybody else order fries with a burger and then put the fries in the burger? I have not, but like honestly it does sound good. I know a lot of people who put like potato chips in burgers and like I can see how the crispiness would be really good in it. Yo Pori, what's going on? How you doing? Do I ever use mangrove wood in my build? Honestly, not really. Cause I haven't really built with it yet because one, I'm still at that phase where I kind of forget that it even exists. And two, when I remember that it exists, I'm like, okay, if I even build this in creative, the problem is in survival, it's kind of a pain to get. So I've just been kind of avoiding it, but I feel like I should. It's a really good, it's a really like beautiful wood, honestly. Like it's very nice. I should stop avoiding it. <laughs> There we go. Isn't Canada more British and American? Honestly, it's like it's like a 50-50 split. And I think like a lot of our um spelling is more similar to the UK in some ways. Um like we use like you know like the word like color. We spell it like C O L O U R. I'm assuming that's how the UK spells it, but like in America like they don't incorporate the U into that. But like, it's, it's just so split. It really depends. And it also depends regionally as well. Cause like, I know a lot of people in Canada, like we've always called soda pop, but like, I think in some parts of Canada, they call it soda. Like it's just, it's so dependent. You were the same way with American chips, but the moment you went to London during your senior trip, it was I, it was a eye awakening moment having fish and chips. Yes. Oh my gosh. I know, right? It's like fish and chips in the UK is just like so much better. I feel like it's hard to find good fish and chips where I'm like where I live. Sweet potato fries are very, very good too. I really like them, especially with like a chipotle mayo or something. I love how this always devolves into food talk. It's so funny. <laughs> What do I think is better for building oak or spruce? Um, I kind of like doing, well, recently I've also been doing the mix of like strip spruce with like oak incorporated because they like blend so well together. I like building with spruce at, like for the foundation because I find it just like matches other wood types and other block types better. But um, honestly, it's very, it's very much depending on the type of build you're going for and like your preference, you know? What was I gonna grab again? Oh yeah, stone cutter. That's what it was. I don't have one. How do you make one again? Let's see, I think it's like a stone slab. Oh no, I just need some iron. Okay, cool. Well, that I can do. I have lots of iron, so. There we go. Yay, stone cutter acquired, and we're pretty much 
good to go, I would say. I think I've got mostly everything. Oh, wait, no, one more thing that I'm gonna need. Sorry, chat, I forgot. We might have to actually go get more too. I'm not sure, we need some deep slate. So we might have to bop down into the cave really quickly as well to grab some of that. Oh, mm, yeah, we only have 33. <laughs> you can tell it's just like I avoid going really far down into the caves, I guess. And to be fair, we haven't really done strip mining or anything. We've had really good luck finding diamonds on the surface. You tried peanut butter and... Oh, you trying jelly on a burger, Sasquatch. Ooh, I haven't tried that yet. I know a lot of people do peanut butter, but I'm just like, I don't know if that would be too rich for me, honestly. It might be a little bit much. But like, I, I understand the concept and why it would be good though, you know? Okay, so I think what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go into the caves really quickly and just grab some deep slate. For real? You're back already? Back again, huh? You just could not resist. All right, what you got? Mm, nothing really good. Does my stream deck work yet? No, it doesn't. My stream deck is in fact broken. It's the OBS plugin. All right. Avert your eyes. My game's glitching. Oh no. Oh no. What is happening? Goodbye. I have so many leads. How is that happening? Why do I keep picking these up and finding them? I don't understand. It's so odd. It's so odd. Yo, see you later, Stuck. Have a good day. Thank you so much for hanging out. A burger restaurant near you does something called the peanut butter jelly burger. See, like, I, it's just something like I want to try, but like I don't want to commit to a full burger. So I feel like I'd have to order it with somebody and split it because I'm like, I just don't know if I could do the, like all, like an entire meal of that. The king sent more scouts. Exactly, exactly. We had no choice, friends. We had no choice. All right, we're gonna feed the cows really quickly before we go down into the caves. Yeah, I guess there was like lava or something that was like spawning in the air. It was so strange, Azzy. I don't know what's wrong with this, with this seed. It's just like, this world is like kind of glitched out, you know? It's so odd. <laughs> Once again, no wandering traders were harmed in the making of this video. <laughs> I don't know why, it's just like such a classic running joke. I feel like everybody does this too. <laughs> Whether or not you like to admit it, we all do it. Oh, for a second I was like, where did my wheat go? I didn't see it. Oh yeah, I forgot. I have chat. I have the fire sword. So I, I get like instant steak. I don't even have to cook it anymore. It is so good. I love it. Fire sword. Yes. And we named it butter knife. I forgot. <laughs> it's <is> so good. <laughs> What's my favorite fast food? That's a really, really tough choice for me. It depends on my mood, honestly. But like, I'm like, I at least get McDonald's once a month though, at least. I love some like McDonald's. I love just like, honestly, everything though. Okay, 19 so far, that's not bad. All right, that should be good, 20. I think we're good. Yo, Xeon, what's going on? Welcome in. Yeah, you can understand why I don't want to share the seed now. I'm doing I'm doing it for everybody's own good. It's not a good seed, trust me. It's actually like haunted and it's terrifying to be on. I don't wanna I don't wanna put you all through that. Alright. Oh, I forgot I have my little mushrooms too. We should probably put those away before I forget. And same with this leather. <laughs> this abundance of leather that I have.
How can I come up with a building palette in Minecraft? Um, honestly, like, uh, I reference it a lot, but Pinterest, if you like look at builds like on Pinterest that have like, um, sorry, like reference photos and stuff like that, you can kind of make a palette off of that. And then there's like a lot of like go-to palettes that I like to do. Like today I'm gonna be doing like spruce, stone and deep slate i just try to find things that will like match well together it really depends on the vibe that you're going for though but i'd say a good jumping off point is like finding a really cool illustration of like a drawing or something that you want to like emulate and or like get inspiration from like something like that off of pinterest and see how you can like translate it into the world of minecraft i haven't had yo matt what's going on welcome in how are you doing um, I haven't had Taco Bell in a long time. It's not that common here, so I don't get it very often. But honestly, when I when I do have it, I'm like, this this is good. Like, no complaints, you know? I don't know if I'm the only one, though, but I feel like Taco Bell fries taste like... Um, I feel like they taste like pancakes or something. Am I wrong to think that? Okay, let's go. Actually, I think the other entrance to this cave goes a little bit further down. So let's go that way. Unofficial poll. Should me and mama make an apple crumble while we watch a stream? Yes, definitely. <laughs> My vote is yes times 10. That is, that is a big yes. And then post it into the food section on the Discord after so we can all see it. All right. Ah! I meant to do that. I totally meant to do that. Totally. Okay. Deep slate, deep slate. Maybe this cave doesn't go down as far as I thought it did. Maybe I was mistaken. I'm not sure. Oh, chat. I mean, if we... Oh yeah, this is where the... Okay, this is where the spider spawner is. So maybe in like the next couple streams, we can do something like with this to get... um some sweet sweet xp because that is what we were struggling with for sure i'm like do i just dig my way down or do i go into the i feel like i should just go into that giant cool lush cave i feel like i'm always also kind of like finding reasons to so maybe i should just stay up here i don't know what do you think i should do chat should i travel far and wide to get to the deep slate that i know is there or just dig down further here and make myself a little bit of like a cave or something like that like a little mine you know because we don't really have one yet. We're still kind of just like traversing these dangerous little paths. What is chat's opinion on this? The votes are in. The crowd has spoken. Apple crumble is in progress. We love to hear it. I'm happy we helped you make that decision. It was the right one. Dig down? Okay. Let's dig down. That's what I was kind of thinking. I'm like, maybe we should just kind of like spend some time in this area so we have like a fast way. Not with the silky one though. That one's too slow. Torch in my hand. All right. <gasps> what I should do though, I forgot before I go further. I need ladders. I need ladders. I was just gonna dig straight down without having ladders or anything. I wouldn't have been able to get back up. Oh gosh. <laughs> just would have been like completely stuck. Oh geez. All right side mission. We're on a side quest everybody. We're suddenly it went from building a sawmill and starting all of that to what are we doing now? Oh, yeah, we're getting deep sleep, but we're also doing like 12 things in the process to get the deep slate. I hope this is kind of how it goes with your worlds, though, where you start a pro like I, I really sincerely don't think I'm the only one who does stuff like this, where you're like, got to do this, except now I'm going to do 800 things to do the thing. I can't I surely can't be the only one, right? What's down there? Scary. Where am I? Oh, we're on the other side here. Okay. 
Oh yeah, I forgot this one's named Potato Peeler. We've got some really interesting names for all of our um, all of our tools, and none of them are quite like in line with the others. Like usually, there's a running theme with people's tools. Ours are just kind of all over the place. And uh, my pronouns are she, her. You do that all the time. I'm so glad I am not the only one, Jane. <laughs> I'm so glad. <clears throat> happens to you all the time yes i feel like that's why we're that's why we're all here and that's why we're all vibing because we all have the same tendencies for stuff like this <laughs> makes me happy all right we're just gonna make just a ton of sticks i guess and make as many ladders as we can It's okay to dig straight down as long as as long as you have the means to get back up. It's fine. It's fine. Mm, I'm gonna need a little bit more wood for this though. I have a feeling that 45 ladders aren't really gonna cut it. So just gonna grab all this wood. No biggie. I'm not alone. Yeah. I'm glad. I'm glad. That's that's the fun in Minecraft though. Is like having. It's kind of like why the game never gets boring for me is because I have one task in mind and I end up having to do like 40 things in order to achieve it. And I find that like makes it more rewarding in some ways, you know? There we go. Now we're talking. I mean, all that spruce wood that we just grabbed would be really great for all of these like the sticks that we need, but at the same time, we're gonna need that for our build anyway, so it's fine. It's fine. You wanted to get um, wheat to feed your pet sheep, found yourself in the end in front of an Enderman farm. How did that even happen? <laughs> but also like, I respect that because it would have been, I probably would be doing the same thing. All right, we'll see you later, Fatima. Thank you so much for hanging out and I hope you have a good night. You're back with your cold coffee. Let's go, Claire, let's go. So you made the choice to go out and get it, I see. Wise choice, wise choice. You're playing in, oops. You're playing in normal. You've transformed a village in Mangrove and Deep Slate. Ooh, if you ever want to share that, definitely share that to the Discord, honestly. Um, feel free to post that on the Kickback Club. We would all love to see it. That is a, That sounds like a good block combination for sure. Okay, let's make ourselves some ladders real quick. There we go. Okay, that should be good, I think. We'll see. All right, where did we leave off right here? Gotta get the ladders in hand though. So I don't forget and I don't get stuck down here. <gasps> Deep slate, we didn't even have to go that far. Let's go. Oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> That was like kind of all for nothing, but at the same time, maybe we should dig this hole down a little bit further so we have it for strip mining or something. Um, what version of Minecraft am I playing right now? I am playing uh, 119 right now. You usually watch my recorded streams. You're so excited to see the live one today. Oh, nice. Welcome in, Moon. <gasps> oh, what is that? Is it invisible blocks or something? I think it's invisible blocks. Oh my gosh, that gave me such a fright. Does anybody else have this issue? There we go. With their Minecraft. This has been happening to me like, I think since like, whoa, since like 118 where I get like invisible blocks all the time when I'm placing them or breaking them. That actually really scared me. I've heard a couple of people have this issue as well, but I thought it was maybe my shaders, but I think it happens like without shaders as well. Yo, Mitch, you fixed your Optifine. Finally, let's go. Are you going to be getting some shaders? And if so, which ones? You need iced coffee for some reason. You can't handle hot coffee. I'm back into the hot coffee because it's getting cold out again. I feel like it just changes like seasonally for me. 
if that makes sense. But I do feel that. I'm usually like drinking iced coffee more than anything. It's gonna take a big sip of water. You thought it was the skull? I know. I honestly thought it was for a second too. I was like, is that a deep dark block? But it was, there was just no like shade or anything to it. So I was like, oh. You've had it a couple of times on the SMP, yeah. I feel like that it's more common on like servers and stuff like that. You should put a bell on the swag tree and ring it whenever somebody donates or becomes a channel member. That, I love that idea actually. We should go to a village and get a bell. That's actually a great idea. I love that. Okay, when I get myself like out of this predicament that I'm in right now, we can pop over to the village really quickly to do that because that would be just epic. Uh-oh. There we go. You've never seen it. It's just like M thought it was a skulk. Maybe, honestly, it, I feel like it's more, maybe more common with shaders. I don't know, but it happens to me a lot. It happened to me while I was um, recording my last long play, and it was so bad that, like, I was digging into a wall like this, and every time I, like, I dug a piece out, it would reveal, like, the world, like the landscape, like you could see taiga trees through the cave. I ended up actually restart restarting the recording because I was like, it just, it looked so bad that it was just like not enjoyable to even look at. <laughs> Good thing it was like only early on in the video. So I was just like, I'll restart, it's no issue, but it was really bizarre. All right, let's just go pretty much all the way down. We might as well. There we go. Yo, Candy, what's going on? Welcome in. How are you doing? You have the bug sometimes too, Platypus? Yeah, I, I've heard it's like, I think it's been happening since 118 or something like that. At least that's, that's when I started noticing it happening. What shaders do I use? I use complimentary now. I did originally use BSL a lot, um, but I use complimentary. I've been preferring it and I heard the performance might be a little bit better than BSL. And it's just got like that, I find that um, complimentary has like more like warm tones and it's, it's more of like a cozy vibe, I think. BSL is a little bit closer to like vanilla Minecraft, which I love, but I thought I thought I would just change it up a little bit. You wanted to get some mending and other enchantments, so you searched for a, s a spawner, then made a farm, then for mending, you made a villager hall, then you forgot what you did all this for. That is exactly how things go in Minecraft. And it's like I said, that's... Ooh, we're at bedrock. That's why I love it, though. I think it's so just, like, funny. <laughs> um, Actually, let's break it so it's right around here instead, so we're not, like, having to crawl over the bedrock. I think that should be good. There, we've got ourselves a little passage to the underground, which is good. And little did we know we would be down here strip mining now, but honestly, we do need the deep slate. That's, it's kind of like ideal that we're just doing this. Maybe we'll find some diamonds along the way, which would be very lovely as well. So it's not all for nothing, you know? Yo, somebody, what's going on? How you doing? You love the way my water looks in the leaves. Yeah, Germs Better Leaves add-on. Definitely recommend that for sure. Germsy, I've been using that um, resource pack forever. It's one of my favorites. And the water with complimentary, I didn't like the original water texture. So I recommend changing it to, I think, RTX or something like that in the settings. And then you can get it. It looks a little bit more like vanilla Minecraft, but like with like a, a cooler hue to it. You keep meaning to check out complimentary, but then you end up logging into Camp Cozy and not logging out for hours. It's it's addictive. I've been having so much fun logging on to and just like hanging out. But I will say it looks really good with complimentary shaders too. It's
it's kind of creepy when you hear the ambience while mining. I agree. Like, what is that? You're just like vibing and then all of a sudden it's just like a weird cave noise and you're just like, is that really necessary? <laughs> I just don't think it is. We're gonna burn through this pickaxe. We need mending so bad. You're bracing yourself for some diamonds and maybe perhaps the warden too. I know, I'm like getting a little bit nervous here because I'm like, hmm, we might run into diamonds, which will be very swag. But also like, what if we actually do run into the deep dark? So now that like, um, it's not included in my video or anybody's, but now that like, I can like finally talk about bloodlines. That's my first encounter with the deep dark. I didn't do anything with it, but like I was, um, I was like going down in a cave and exploring and all of a sudden I realized it was there and it was the scariest thing of my life. I, I just like noped out of there and I didn't even bother exploring it cause I was like, no. <laughs> If I find any deep slate ores, I might want to silk touch them. Oh, like, um, the kind of, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like any of the ores in deep slate. Dude, totally agree. So good to have. I love, I also love like the, uh, the OG look of like the stone diamond now too, because it's so hard to find diamonds in stone that it kind of looks, I, I never realized how good it looks. We'll definitely have to silk touch that too. You know, we're down here digging for deep slate. We have more than enough, but now that I'm here and the fact that like I haven't found any diamonds whatsoever yet, I'm like kind of determined to just find at least one before we head back up. I don't know. <laughs> Come on, we've got to Just just one. We've been going for quite a while though. I'm like, should I just like veer off? Oops. Into this direction and kind of like head back down, except I don't have any. Uh oh, I don't have torches. Oh no, chat. Oh no. That's okay. You have two origins you really like. Can you, can I help you decide? First origin is warden. Basically everything a warden can do. Uh, next, a time controlling. I, I would say go time controlling. That would be, that would be fun. Ah! Uh oh. Uh, nothing. Nothing's there. <sighs> okay, we're out of torches though, and I'm a little bit nervous about that because we need light, otherwise mobs are gonna spawn, right? Okay, maybe maybe we should just head back up. What do you all think? Do you want me to keep going until I find some sweet, sweet diamonds, or should we just head back up and do the build? It's up to you, chat. I am good for either. You gotta take off, uh, have an amazing day and a good weekend as well. Oh, thank you so much for hanging out, Nap Ninja. It's always nice to see you, and I hope you have a good day. Camp Cozy is legit the best server in the world you've ever played on. Oh, that means, honestly, like, it means so much to me and Block that you're, that you're all enjoying it so much. Like, it really, it took quite a lot of time to, like, put together and build and organize, and, like, with the help of, like, a lot of people, it came together, and it's just, like, the process was so fun and like each day we were more and more excited to be able to finally release it and show you all. And I'm just so glad seeing everybody like it. Just make, it just makes me very, very happy. Do the build, make a poll. All right. Seems like most people say, say do the build. So let's do the build. I think we've got more than enough here. I think we're good to go. So let's head, head on up and start building everything out. This always, see, this trips me up with complimentary shaders though, is when you're in a cave, the sky is like super dark and then it slowly reveals the actual light from the sky. So I'm always like, is it nighttime? Is it not? All right, let's build, let's build chat. We've, we've got a fair amount of diamonds already, so I think we're good. I'm very excited to get this build up and to potentially get like a Fletcher in there or something. I think it's going to be super epic. 
Apple crumble is now in the oven and it's looking rad. Yes. I, I really hope you post a photo of it after. I would love to see it. All right, I think I'm gonna do a little bit of, mm, actually it doesn't really need that much terraforming because I think I'm gonna be placing the build like right along here. Okay, so. Bless all of these diamond tools. So good, so worth it. We put the work into getting them and it's just like completely paid off, you know? Yo, Becca, what's going on? Welcome in, how you doing? Okay, so I'm thinking like, hmm, hmm. Just gonna cover that up quickly. So we've got this riverside here. I don't know if like the build should go kind of like, it's basically gonna be like a rectangular build. This is like a smaller version of it. But it's basically gonna be a rectangular build with like a couple of things like jutting out. So it could either go here along the riverbed or we could kind of place it a little bit further in here and allow for like a pathway up, you know? And I'm just like undecided what I wanna do yet. Oh, we gotta sleep soon. So yeah, I don't know exactly what I want to do. Like if we do this, the problem is like the build, I mean like the the entrance would be where you see like that, that gap right there. So it would be like facing this way. So when we're coming back down the river, you're going to see the back end of it, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. And what I was basically picturing with this build was, oh no, it's nighttime. Hold on, I need to sleep. Otherwise I'm just going to be scared the whole time. Go further in and do some cool landscaping in the front. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Cause I feel like if we do it alongside here, it's just gonna be like a little bit too awkward. So if we go further in, maybe I'll pull this out a little bit more. Like maybe we can have the build start like here. Oops. What I'm thinking is like maybe here instead. And then that gives us a ton of space to work with in front of it. Cause I just don't really see a point in like putting something so close to the river unless we have like a water mill that's going, that's attached to it, but I don't. So that's kind of what I was thinking. That's, that's my thought process. Just thought you all should know. <laughs> so yeah, I'm thinking maybe we start building it like right around here and then we have more space to like spread out and stuff like that. And maybe in front of it, we can do like a bunch of like log piles and stuff like that and really decorate it like that. Yo, Mystical, what's going on? Welcome in, how are you doing? Okay, let's start building this thing. So first I need to put away all of this fabulous deep slate that I have. Oh my gosh, I have so many materials now, this is wild. Okay. Mm, the one thing that I'm missing is that mossy cobble. So let's go grab that really quickly. And then that's the last trip, chat. I swear, I swear. Then we can begin actually building out the footprint. Uh, what are we building? We're building a little like sawmill. So it's gonna be like um, a little mill that has like a working little saw. We're gonna make it like super cutesy and stuff like that. And I think inside we're gonna start putting like the Fletchers to trade um, a bunch of sticks with them and stuff like that. So we can get villager trading going. Uh, what was I looking for? Oh yes, that should do us, I believe. There we go. Oh, I'm so excited to get this done. This is gonna look cool. Just terraform this really quickly. It was bothering me. I don't know why. Sorry, chat. 
Sorry. Just got a little sidetracked, but we do probably need the dirt anyway. Okay. Let's gather our main building materials. Ooh, mossy deep slate would be really cool. I would love that, actually. That would be a very good addition to it. All right, so let's start by doing some cobblestone, some regular stone. And let's get rid of this footprint. So I guess here is where I'm going to start things. Maybe around here. So I'm going to do... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. gonna break all of this now that we don't really need it. So this is gonna be the front of the build. Let me see. And then it's gonna go back. So that gives us like a pretty big front area to work with. I think that should be enough. I think so. Yo, Myrna, what's going on? How you doing? I'm having a great day. Thank you for asking. Yo, Ray, what's going on? Welcome in. Your comfort Minecrafter. Oh, that makes me so happy to hear. You just want to say that you sleep watching my rainy long plays. Oh, always makes me so happy. It's so funny because it's like for like long plays and stuff. That's what you want people to kind of do. Like, I don't think like any other genre, like or not many genres of YouTube videos. Most people are like, don't want people to like fall asleep to them but that's like kind of what you that's like a very good compliment is that like your stuff is relaxing enough <laughs> <clears throat> all right let's go across this way so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen oh yeah i think that that is perfect two three four Five, six, seven. Let's go. This is gonna look super fly. All right, so there's our basic footprint. So I think with this, what I'm gonna do now is go up four high. One, two, three, four. There we go. Now this is just like the easy part of like filling it all in. Just slowly adding texture. So my favorite part about this is like just being able to like kind of like go across after and just like mindlessly fill it in but um also like i really am digging like the mossy cobble like on like um underneath it's like very medieval so basically like the base of this is going to be like mossy cobble mixed in with like a little bit of stone here and there i just like it because of like the texture difference like if i find that if it's all mossy cobble or regular cobblestone that like it gets very busy looking so i think that like the stone helps break it up a bit and also andesite works out really well too i should actually replace some of the stone with some andesite we can try that out too um but yeah i'm kind of going for more of like a little like rustic medieval-ish looking build so that's what we're going to be going for today there we go I find it just like very fun to go across and just like fill in the blocks slowly but surely. There we go. You're at work now watching me and you're like, man, what can I do to take a nap right now? <laughs> yeah, just like calming place, placing the blocks very calmingly. It's very, I find it's like very meditative also almost. Uh, lichen over cobble really blends in with mossy cobble. Yes, it's like a very good um, uh, thing to like transition from like moss 
to mossy cobble with lichen over top and then into mossy cobble. I love using uh, glow lichen. It's very, very good. We should probably add some to this actually because it's more of like a rundown build. It would actually be perfect for it. There we go. I think this should be good. Boop. That was actually kind of swag. No damage. All right, so we got ourselves a little bit of a base here. And basically what I'm going to do now is I think I'm just going to build out like a little porch because this is going to be like one block high technically. So let's build out a quick little porch here. Oops, we're already out of cobble. Look at that. I was like, am I out of mossy cobble already? I thought it was, I forgot it was in my inventory. I was like, oh gosh, I need to tone it down a bit. Mossy cobble, I think is like one of my favorite blocks though to use, definitely. All right, so we've got ourselves a rectangle so far. Making progress, making progress. Yo, Lou, what's going on? Welcome in, how are you doing? How's today treating ya? Are my builds inspired by any particular era, age, and culture? It's actually a really good question. Honestly, like, I feel like my builds recently have just been kind of like a blend of just like all of the random inspiration that I pull from like Pinterest and stuff like that. So it's not tied to anything specifically. Although I would really like to eventually create a world that's like inspired by like one specific th specific thing. I think that would be a very good challenge for me because right now I still find that I'm like all over the place. And I think I'd like to hone in on like one thing in particular and really go with it. What are blocks that we're missing? You feel like it's glass stairs. Ooh, that would be interesting, glass stairs. What are some things you could do with that? I feel like it'd be really good for like organics and stuff like that. Charred wood would be very interesting as well. I would like to see more wood variants for sure. I am doing great. Thank you, Lou. Yeah, we're just chilling today, hanging out, just vibing. We're building like a little sawmill in our uh, long play world. Just, just hanging out. Glass stairs in a greenhouse. I didn't even think of that. That one's like so obvious and it would be so good. Uh, do I have a Pinterest board of my inspo and would I be willing to share it? I actually, I think I just have like a really messy like save on Pinterest, but if I ever organize it, I would definitely share it with you for sure. I find that once you start saving like certain types of things on Pinterest, it knows what to show you. And then it's very easy to find inspiration through the, um, like the feed or whatever it's called. I'm not, I'm still like actually not very good at Pinterest. Like I know I like it, but like finding stuff I still kind of struggle with sometimes. But I find that like it's at the point where it just kind of like gives me what I want and then I just like save it from there. You've been chilling a ton on Camp Cozy today, making a boat. Oh yeah, I saw you were um asking if anybody had some could trade for some uh wood and stuff like that. I definitely would love to see the boat. Is it like near like the everybody's bases or have you gone off to build somewhere else? The idea of glass stairs gives you anxiety. You wouldn't want to be able to see the floor underneath your feet. That's exactly how I felt as soon as I read glass stairs. Like for some reason I was thinking about it in context of if I like had to walk on it and I was like, that's scary and no, no thank you. I know that's like what the top of the CN Tower is like. It's like a bunch of, it's literally like a glass floor. And I haven't been since I was a baby, but I actually don't think I have any interest in going because it would just scare me too much now. All right, it's time to get this top floor done. Do I have my oak? Yes, I have lots of oak. I think we're kind of done with all of this mossy stuff for now. So let's kind of get rid of that. Got to clean up this chest as much as I can, if I can. Ooh, what is going on here? There we go. Got to get me ax and some dirt and we're good to go. 
It's gonna be right next to your island. Oh, yes. I'm so excited to see it. I'm very much looking forward to it. Everybody's builds on the server have been incredible, by the way. Like, I, every once in a while, when I pop on, I just like kind of stroll around, especially because everybody's so central to one another. And um, it's just like super nice to see everybody's builds. You're also like incredibly talented. It's wild. Oh, I forgot stairs. Sorry, I'm getting very distracted. <laughs> I need to get some spruce stairs and probably some slabs and stuff like that. Okay, let's just make a bunch of those. And some slabs, that should be good, I think. Finally able to join your live for the first time ever. Hello from Denmark. Welcome in, Anna, how are you doing? Thank you so much for hanging out. I really appreciate it. And it's so nice to have you here. All right, let's start building this out. I think I'm gonna build it out on like the front and back by like one block. And then, oh, I almost fell. The sides will remain the same because I'm gonna do like some lean twos and like some other structures on the sides. But we want this to jut out a little bit so we have the beams kind of like sticking out here and then like the wall will be here just to give it a little bit more depth. So one, two, three, two, three, four, five. Uh oh, I'm going to fall. It's not going to be good. <laughs> oh, no. Sorry, I'm in I'm in drift build concentrate mode. Sorry if chat's like flying by and I don't even notice. You've had Pinterest for years and wait, where the you just got your feed to be perfect. Yeah, like I find like it actually takes work for your feed to be what you want it to be. And like I don't know if I necessarily have the patience for that, but at the same time, like I kind of just let it feed me whatever I want, but like I heard that it's just like a lot of work to get it perfect and I'm like, hmm. There we go. I'm gonna fall. Ow. There we go. All right. So we got the beams in place. And now pretty much all I need are the walls, which is going to be a mix of spruce, like strip spruce, and I think just regular spruce. We're going to make it like look super log cabin-y. So I'm just going to place this stuff like all kind of randomly. I've really been into this palette lately. You'll see my <laughs> my next long play actually is something like very similar. That's going to be coming out next week. I literally have like been using kind of like a similar palette for different builds, but I've been like really into like the deep slate spruce, like oaky combo. I think it looks like really good for cabins. I think that's like really common for me though, to like kind of get stuck on like a certain type of palette and build with it for a while. And I don't think that's like a really bad thing because it's just like nice to be able to like explore how to build with something, but definitely been using it a lot. Don't you love going to Pinterest to look at build inspirations and get getting sidetracked? Yeah, see, that's a thing. That's a dangerous thing with Pinterest for me. It's like it's very easy to get sidetracked as well, like you said. It's like I'm on there for one thing and then like 20 minutes later, I am like looking at recipes or something really random and I'm just like, <laughs> where am I? What time is it? <laughs> Oh yeah, the scaffolding! I forgot about that! Yo, good show! Okay, okay. Scaffolding, coming right up. Oh, chat. You're- you're always here for me. You really are. Okay, let's just- let's just... Strip all of this really quickly. Okay, I can't really reach that, so maybe it's time for the bam 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 scaffolding. Oh my gosh, I completely forgot. <clears throat> Yo, Precious, what's going on? How are you doing? Welcome on in. 
Oh, Rosby, what's going on? It's so nice to see you. Welcome on in as well. Did I change shaders? Yes, I am now currently using complimentary actually, which is wild because I've been using BSL like forever. Okay, that's looking good so far. But I thought I would give complimentary a go and after kind of like tweaking the settings out a little bit, I'm really happy with it actually. It's got like a lot more like warm, cozy tones I find. BSL is still great. I think I'd use it for like certain videos that I'm making, but I'm, I'm really loving the complimentary right now. Uh, what were we doing? The bamboo, the bamboo. That's what it was. Oh, scary. Yeah, forgot. I forgot all about the scaffolding. There we go. We finally got the bamboo so satisfying honestly bamboo i love it okay now i'm gonna try it because the other day as he gave me some bamboo on the smp and i was like learning how to use it and i think i think i got the hang of it i think i did i've been practicing a little bit with it i've honestly mostly been using scaffolding for building <laughs> like i use it as like um little tables and stuff like that but all right we got enough sp uh string let's do it let's finally make scaffolding yes let's go oh my gosh chat we did it we finally got the scaffolding and now we're gonna learn how to use it properly like i've already tried it out i think i've got the hang of it but also like there's like it's baby steps like this is this is this is a big move for me i've been using dirt the whole time and like it still kind of confuses me in some way so this is gonna be fun i'm definitely gonna fall definitely so i'm not gonna i'm not gonna like tout that i'm super skilled at this because i'm definitely not did i ever defeat the ender dragon yes i actually did in my let's play not in this world yet we haven't done any of that um That'll definitely be happening probably. I don't know. I feel like we're making some pretty good progress in this world, especially once we get villager trades up. I think we're going to start seeing things happen a little bit quicker. So maybe we'll do the ender dragon soon. You hate the fact that you can't use bamboo on composters. You can't? Why not? It makes no sense. All right. Let's try this out. Goodbye, dirt. I'm gonna throw it there as symbolism to say I don't need you anymore. Actually, I might need that for something. I might need it for terraforming. <laughs> I'm gonna pick it back up. All right. <gasps> Is it better to like have it like right here or like, actually no, cause then I can, I can go up and then if I want what I can do, oh, oh, okay. Ah, but the problem is you can't crouch when you're doing stuff on it. I'm not used to that because I'm so used to crouching while like using dirt for scaffolding, but you know what? Okay, no, this this is actually pretty swag. This is pretty swag. Oh. Oh, this is this is very easy. Chat. I am too excited about this. Okay, and now I'm done. Ow. Okay, that was a little bit too eager, but it's it's breaking the scaffolding. That's what really gets me about the whole thing, is like it's so satisfying to break soon. Soon, not soon, too. Kelp compost. Ooh, you can get a lot of kelp very easily. Am I going to do a let's play again? Yes, definitely. Um, not like super soon because I have bloodlines coming up and all that stuff. That's why, honestly, like I've just been working on a lot of other projects recently, especially with getting the server going and stuff like that. That's kind of like why we've had a, a little bit of a stop to that type of content, but it will be coming back for sure. That was very satisfying. I quite enjoy the scaffolding, I think. You think spruce only looks good with shaders? Like it's okay, but once you strip it, no. At least not in normal Minecraft. You love it with shaders though. Interesting opinion. I still really enjoy it, but like I can see why. Yeah, cause it definitely does look different with shaders. And I'm pretty sure like it looks different on bedrock as well, right? Or so I've heard that some of the wood types look a little bit uh, different on bedrock.
All right, so we'll build that up really quickly. Uh-oh, forgot to get these little guys. All right, there. Yo, Nina, what's going on? Welcome in, how are you doing? All right, Precious, we'll see you later. So much, Thank you so much for hanging out. Oh, there is just a skeleton just chilling right there. Like, do I do anything? I don't know. I feel like I should just avoid. <laughs> it's just like, just waiting. He's just chilling. He's honestly like, he looks like he's deep in thought right now. Oh, okay. He's just going off. All right, just gonna leave him. Just gonna leave him, not gonna say anything. <laughs> dark and sad and then once it's stripped with no shaders instead of cozy okay i get that i get that honestly i don't play minecraft too much without shaders although like i have been playing a little bit more recently every once in a while like i have my shaders off and i do enjoy it though it's like a little bit different of an experience but i really do enjoy minecraft without shaders he's just he hasn't noticed me yet do you think he's ever gonna know? He will, and he's gonna knock me off this house and I'm just gonna fall. Uh, would I try to make a hardcore survival let's play? If I do let's play next, is most likely gonna be me trying hardcore. I've done hardcore with um like the one shot SMP and it was like, honestly, just like so fun. I had such a blast doing it. I would really love to give it a shot as like a video series as well. So like once I do start up a let's play again, like that's definitely what it's gonna be. You prefer the dark oak wood stripped with spruce than strip spruce. I'm I'm always like I feel like I'm always disappointed by the way the dark oak looks when it's stripped. I'm always like I'm gonna use it, but I feel like it just doesn't blend well with like other blocks, and I just get kind of like disappointed by it. I like the way the dark oak wood looks like unstripped though. Look at me using the scaffolding. Look at this. Okay. All right. The only thing I don't like is it's kind of in your way in some spots, but I think I'm just kind of using it wrong also. I'm just not a pro at it yet. But now here, here, here's, here's the best part. Here's the best part. Ready? So satisfying. I love it. Goodbye, dirt. Don't need you anymore because I have scaffolding. Look at me go. Oh, it's just so handy that you can just like chill at like any level. That is just so good. What does it look like when you're on it? Does it look awkward? I mean, like it's a little awkward, but it's kind of cool too though. I like it. Nine out of 10, nine out of 10. And honestly, dirt, dirt has fallen to like a six out of 10 for me. It's just standing there menacingly. I know, like, what is what's it, what is this deal? I don't want to do anything though, because I'm just like, I might as well just leave him. He's not, he's not doing anything wrong. What's my least favorite wood type? Ooh. Honestly, I think it's gotta be, I really love birch wood, but I don't like the birch planks. I find it's like, I don't know. I it. I just find that it doesn't really go with much of what I build. I'm always like, I'm always like, maybe this time it'll be different. And then I try to use it and incorporate it. And I'm like, mm, that ain't it. That ain't it. What is everybody else's like least favorite wood type? I used to really not be a fan of jungle wood, but I find it's very, very good for like detailing and stuff now. I'm a big, big fan of the jungle wood now. We should capture him and tag him. <laughs> Knowing my luck, that whole process would just lead to me just getting just absolutely destroyed. Uh oh. There we go. It takes a little bit of time for me to get used to the scaffolding, but I think I think I like. I think I like. I am gonna need more spruce wood though. Birch is definitely not your fave. Yeah, I, I find that I just like, I give it a shot every time and like each time I'm like a little bit disappointed with it. 
It's too yellow. Yeah, it, I agree. I feel like if it was a little bit more washed out, just like a tiny, tiny bit, I would like it more. You like birch planks with sandstone. Yeah, that's that's a that's when it works out pretty well. You're not a fan of acacia. Acacia, I feel like it's also like the same thing with jungle where it's a very good detailing block. I really like the um like the trap doors you get with acacia, the doors. I find those are really good for decoration, but it can be like a bit of a challenge to build with. I think it pairs really well with um what's it called? With like uh, ter orange terracotta and red sandstone. Pairs really, really well. It sounds like I'm talking about like a wine or something. <laughs> this uh, this acacia log, it will pair very well with a fish dish uh, with some salmon. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh gosh. It's true though. What we're saying is true. Like it, there every, every blocks like has like a very good pairing. I should check out the new Wilder Wild Pack. Ooh, what is that? I've never heard of it. Acacia is similar to Teak, so it's good for boat decks. Yes, definitely. That's a good shout for sure. Uh, what do I need next? I think we're done with this string for now. I don't know why I have this iron here. We got extra bamboo. We have all this swag scaffolding. I think what I need now is probably Hmm. Probably gonna do the roof next. Okay, I'm gonna grab some water very quickly. So I'm just gonna BRB like really quick and I'll be back in probably like a minute. I have to do this whole and I have to do this manually now because my stream deck's not working. Okay, I'll BRB.
Hello, friends. I'm back. How y'all doing? All right, let's get a roof going on this thing. So, need to get rid of all of this stuff. And it's time for the dark oak. I should probably replant a couple of these trees in case. I'm slightly worried I won't have enough. I probably will, but never hurts to have a couple more, you know? So that's pretty good. Aw, thank you, Azzy. Thank you, thank you. I took a little break, got myself some more water, which I should probably sip. I'm on Operation Stay Hydrated today. Yo, Diana, welcome in. How are you doing? Yo, Froggy, what's going on? Thank you so much for popping in. How are you doing? Shout out to Froggy, another mega cozy YouTuber. Please highly recommend go checking her out. Also, she's going to be on Bloodlines. We're going to be on Bloodlines together. I can talk about it now, which makes me so excited. <laughs> All right, let's get the roof going on this thing. So we are going to need, uh, what are we going to need again? Oh yeah, stairs, lots of them. 32, that's not a lot. I always think I'm making a ton and then I'm not. And I'm always disappointed by it. I'm like, how did that, those amount of planks only equate to that many stairs? We need a wood cutter. This is my, this is me begging Minecraft to make like a wood a wood cutter next, honestly. Always makes your day to see a drifting. Oh, thank you, Froggy. That's so nice. And it always makes my day seeing you pop in too. Oh, I am looking forward to seeing your video as well. That's the best part. Like I I have my perspective on bloodlines, and I think I've seen a couple of others like parts of their videos but for the most part it remains a mystery to me about what some other people were up to and i'm very very excited to see it woodcutter nation yeah let's go let's go honestly i would love to see a woodcutter in my near future for minecraft oh there's a piece of grass in my face all right let's use this fancy fancy scaffolding ready whoa let's go so good all right so i think i'm gonna start the roof okay if i break ugh, i was so scared that if i broke a piece i would like fall the scaffolding is still very new to me it's still very very scary and i think there's some mechanics about it that i don't quite understand yet that i'm just gonna mess up inevitably and it's just gonna i'm gonna have to get used to it you know although i am gonna use this dirt as like a little placeholder for when i'm going up on the roof like this Woody villagers selling saplings would be chef's kiss. That, yeah, that would be dope too. Imagine being able to trade an abundance of like spruce saplings with like the villagers. I'd be like, do you know how easy it was for me to get these? But also please take these. I don't want them anymore. All right, I'm gonna go up on the roof now and we are just gonna start. Actually for this part, I'm going to do an upside down stair right here and then we're going to start off with the roof shape. So we're just going to do one block here and I think we're going to do two blocks and then one block and then in the center point, we're going to do two blocks like this. So instead of stairs, we're just using full spruce blocks, which I really like the look of it. I don't know why I've been into like that really like chunky roof lately. There we go. I just find if I'm making taller roofs, for some reason to me, like the um, the planks of wood look a little bit better than like using stairs and stuff like that. It depends, honestly. It's nice having variation in all your roofs. Okay, so I think this one was two blocks and then one block and then it connects and that's it. Yay. You're so excited to see me playing in SMP again, especially since Brooke, Froggy, and Sev are also joining. Yes, I am. I mean, I've been the nice part is I've been playing in it, so it's been super, super fun and like super refreshing to be able to like play in one again. But um, I'm just very excited for you all to see it as well. Like it's just been like such a good time. 
and especially because it's like it's something that a lot of us haven't really explored much which is like heavy role play so it's been like a really fun challenge to kind of like work through together and i i don't know i'm just very excited for you all to see it. it's gonna be extra cool all right we'll see you later simon thank you so much for hanging out All right, let's finish up this side quickly. Just wanted to grab all that dirt. We're just gonna connect it like this. And then we're gonna fill in the middle, I think, with deep slate. So it's very handy that we wouldn't got all of that. Drift's character is the best. I <laughs> don't wanna say much about it, but <laughs> the only thing I could say is that like, stinky, <laughs> stinky. Honestly, all of you are the best. Like, I don't know. Everybody's just like has like a lot of like very funny character development going on already. And I'm just so here for it. Like just the amount of shenanigans that everybody is this whole group of people is willing to get up to is just like it's perfect. It's just chaos. It is just total chaos when we all have to film together. <laughs> you may think I have the best character, Froggy, but oh, no but you have one of the best as well. Oh my gosh. Why? Every time. What is this? It's the Wandering Trader, I swear. Somebody said that the Wandering Trader works for the Pillagers and I'm inclined to believe that. What are you doing? Go away. Why are you always here? Okay, I don't wanna like do like a, sw a weird swimming battle with you. Can I like get my boat or something? Uh, every time. This is like at least like a once a stream thing. Is Drift playing herself or is Drift being played by Blockdown? Ooh, shots fired, Azzy. Shots fired. <laughs> okay, I need to go grab my boat quickly. I don't I did not see a boat along the shoreline anywhere, so I'm assuming I left them all over there. Yeah, I did. Of course I did. Where else would they be? They're never where I need them to be. Let's just say that. Yeah, this is like totally a, like a hostile takeover. I don't understand. The, the pillagers come and visit me like at least like once a stream. Is it because I'm close to a village? I think it is, right? Ooh, alleys. Ooh, I actually have... Okay, I've never even considered getting them because I just keep forgetting they exist. We gotta find... We have to find the... Uh, are they gone? Wait, what? Chat, where'd they go? What? What happened to them? Are they gone? I literally don't see them anywhere. Did they just like despawn or something like that? If you like walk away from them? Is it as simple as walking away from the pillagers and they'll literally just be like, okay, and then just disappear into the void? You think it's happening because I'm spending a lot of time in like one chunk? That could be it too. And I think like proximity to village as well. Yeah, they got so scared and they just ran from me because they were like, she's getting the boat. Oh no, drift means business now. I guess we have to go. No, I don't. I, I, I think they're scared. I think they're scared. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay, well, um, I guess, I guess they're gone? Unless they're, like, back on this hill. Strange. Uh, yeah, they were just too afraid of me. All right, so this is what the build's looking like so far. Cute little build. It's gonna look a lot better once we have like other pieces like attached to the side and stuff like that. So let's go back to that and we'll start filling in the roof. Yo, Jude, what's going on? Welcome in. Yeah, it turns out walking away from conflict is like literally the solution. So I guess there you go, huh? Okay, this is turning into a disaster, an actual disaster. What is this chest monster that I have going on? We're gonna have to clean this up later, chat. And by we, I mean me. I'm not gonna do that on camera. Oh yeah, the skelly. Maybe it was the skelly that was protecting me.
Yeah, maybe we should name the skelly. Maybe we should become friends with him, you know? Can you name tag a skeleton? That's the question that I have. Can I throw a name tag on the skeleton? Because I'm like, if we can, I would actually kind of be down to like name tag him and just keep him in there. But he, I don't know if he'd ever despawn, would he? Unless we throw him in a boat. Is he in there still? What are you doing? What's going on in here? What do you got going on in here? <gasps> He's gone. He despawned. No! I was kind of, I was kind of hoping he would be there. I kind of like, liked having him there. He was just like a little buddy. Maybe he fought the pillagers while we were gone. We missed a completely epic battle. Name him Smelly. If we ever come across like, him again, we'll, we'll name him Smelly for sure. Oh no. Oh no. They're here. Hold on. There we go. Sorry, chat. They're gone. I got them, right? I got them. Every time. Some days are really bad, but other days we get a little bit lucky and miss out on the bots. Bad spam. Go away. All right, let's start getting this roof together. So we need a ton of these deep slate bricks. And we'll keep a couple of them regular cobbled deep slate as well. And we'll mix that in just to give it a little bit of uh, texture. Chat versus bots. Yeah, it is the true war for sure. All right. Whoop. Oh, that was scary. I, for a second, I did not know what I was doing there, you know? Just like, I, I I went in with a little bit too much confidence, and then halfway through I was like, I think this is a mistake, whatever I'm doing. I think that that's like half of my life, though. I'm always like, ah. Got ourselves a nice cobbled deep slate roof mixed with deep slate bricks. Just a little bit of texture adds. I really, I find that the, um, my favorite like form of deep slate is definitely the deep slate bricks for like the primary block and I really like mixing it in. I find that the cobbled deep slate adds just a little bit of extra texture and it's nice. What was the first name for deep slate? Oh, I forget. What was it? Does anybody in chat remember? It, it had a really cool name. All right, we'll see you later, Camila. Thank you so much for hanging out. Oh, I really, I forget what it was called, but it was something really cool. And then I remember they changed the name. And I was a little bit disappointed. Grimstone. That was it, right? No upside down roof on the stair is a style choice or yeah. So basically I'm not doing any upside down roofs uh, on the stair or sorry, not on the stairs on the upside down stairs on the roof. I don't know why I mixed that up. Sorry. But we're going to fill that in with other things to give it a little bit of different detail, like um, fencing and stuff like that. Sometimes I like to have the upside down stairs and then other times, like for other types of builds, I think it's nice to like kind of like go without it. I don't know why. Uh oh, it's nighttime. I keep forgetting because Honestly, it's like on the SMP, I'm like, somebody's gonna sleep and I'm like, I'm literally in a world all by myself. And I keep forgetting that. I'm just like, yeah, yeah, somebody's got a bed with them. I gotta sleep. The scary monsters are gonna come out. All right, we almost got this roof up. <clears throat> yeah, that was getting, that was cutting it really close. I've been cutting it close lately with the sun. I I think it's what I said with like, just being on like a multiplayer server. It has me thinking that somebody else just has a bed and it'll be fine. So there's no point in rushing to one, but I'm like, no, 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 I'm alone. I need to consider that. Yo, Sam, what's going on? Welcome in. Um. The only, we've basically started building out um, a sawmill. 
we basically just have like the foundation done and other than that you haven't really missed much we did like a little bit of exploration for some like deep slate and stuff like that but we're pretty much like still very early into the build there we go all right so that's pretty much done up here though i don't know if i have enough stairs for this but what i'm gonna do is like a little roof design so i'm gonna have the staircases going back like this so one two three four five six seven i'm gonna meet them in the middle going from the other side as well one two three four five six seven and then right in this middle point i'm gonna put um a plank here and maybe what we can do is we can either use like a fence on top or we can do like an iron bar or something like that to decorate the top but we'll do that when we get to all the decorating and stuff like that we're still kind of working on the foundation of it so we'll hold off on that for now <clears throat> Yo, Orin, what's going on? Welcome in. How you doing? Okay. Guess we can put away this deep slate now. Let me boat out so you can kind of get an idea of what it looks like. We still have to fill in like that portion, <clears throat> but we'll just take a quick little look from a distance so we can kind of see what we're working with. Yo, Reaper Kitty, what's going on? Welcome back. You had to run to the store with your boyfriend and you're trying to watch on the way there, but you had connection problems. No worries. Yeah, this is looking cute so far. So once we start adding like little details to it, it's obviously gonna come together, but but the starting, the starting rectangle we have is looking pretty cute, you know? And this is gonna look really cute when we're boating down the river because we actually use this a lot for transportation and like going to and from. So it's gonna be really nice, like kind of like poking out from like the river over here when we're coming back and seeing this. Just gonna add like a little bit more life to the area, I find. Okay, so let's finish filling in the center pieces. That's pretty much what we're missing now. And we'll just go up here with my scaffolding as you can see drift is moving up in the world moving up like actually because i'm using scaffolding but also just like moving up because it's like i learned how to use scaffolding that's big that's big i've been like very hesitant to use it so i'm sorry i'm so proud of it i'm so proud <laughs> I find I always flex like the most basic things in this game, <laughs> like, oh, it's a proud moment. Drift's growing up, you know? It's just like breaking the scaffolding when you're like, is a little bit scary because it breaks a lot faster than you realize. What shaders am I using? I'm using complementary shaders right now. The bill is looking so good. Oh, thank you, Reaper Kitty. I appreciate it. All right, we'll see you later, Carlos. Thank you so much for hanging out. Uh-oh. That's looking very dark. I need to get some torches in here immediately. Ow! See, that's what I mean. Too fast. All right, let's go get some coal and some sticks. And we got to make us some torches because I'm not about to deal with, like, making an accidental mob spawner. <laughs> Yeah, total mob farm. That would have been bad news if we had left that and I hadn't have noticed. Imagine like a creeper just spawns and just completely destroys all of our work. Building content in Minecraft is so is satisfying. You watch it more than you play it. Honestly, I watch a lot of Minecraft too. Like it I totally agree. It's just like super engaging to watch people build. I very, very much agree with that. If I'm not building on Minecraft, I'm definitely like watching like some form of like YouTube video or stream or something like that. It's just like such an easy game to watch, I find. I've like, I've watched, there's like some streamers who like I can, I can watch them pretty much like play anything. 
like definitely but like i find minecraft it's like i just that's like the only game that i actually like specifically want to watch that was scary You give me the certificate of competence in using scaffolding. Yes, it is such an honor. Thank you. Thank you. I I will hang that certificate on my wall with pride. There we go. Okay. No more scary abyss. Except it's not really lighting up that much. So I should probably go in from underneath as well. It's time for us to knock out the door anyway, which I think probably right here. And let's just add a bunch of torches to this because I'm not I'm not about making an accidental mob spawner and losing all our work. There we go. Pretty much done with this. And then it, it comes to the detailing after, which is one of the best parts. So There we go. Time to break the scaffolding carefully, carefully. Wow, so professional. Can't believe I did that. <laughs> Sorry you missed my streams. Oh, no worries, no worries. It's so nice to have everybody hop in when they can, but at, of course, no pressure to ever hop in if you can't. All right, so now we've just got like a rectangular box and it just it just needs a lot of detail now, pretty much. Scaffolding can be scary sometimes when you break it. Yeah, it's the sound. The sound is so, so satisfying. I love it. Oh, I forgot one right there. We need to get that right now, chat. Right now. We are on a mission. There we go. Yeah, let's go. Let's go, buddy. Okay. So we've got ourselves a door. I think we could probably use a window. How are we going to detail this? I was thinking that this needs like a little bit of an awning or something like that. So I think I need some more coal after all. Uh, actually, no, we can we can get by with this. We can easily make... um some campfires out of this actually seven that would only literally make us seven campfires i am sorry chat it is time for us to go back to the storage unit many a trips are going to be made today but that's okay i'm really happy that we also like i know i'm not using the path right now but i'm really happy that we path this out it already looks so much better in this area it's looking mighty fresh now that we actually have like cobble and stuff like that Coal, check. Got lots of wood, so I think we're good for that. I think that's everything that we need. Your fiance got you hooked on using scaffolding. Now it's literally everywhere. Honestly, like now I'm kind of hooked on it too. It's, I didn't, I, when I didn't know how to use it before, I was like, this is way harder to use than dirt scaffolding. But like the sound of it is satisfying, but it's also like a really great decorative block. Like it's so cute to put things on top of it, like having it as like a little bench or something like that. And then you put like the little stone cutter on it. It's so cute. Like, look at that. That's adorable. I love it. It's so good. Yo, Scruffy, what's going on? Welcome in. Right now we are building a sawmill. With a new update, you spend time looking for reasons to build. Now you're scared of caves. <laughs> caves are have been scary since 118 for sure. Okay, before I like move on to like decorating all of this stuff, I think what I'm gonna do actually is uh, build out the little part of the sawmill where I'm gonna have like the little like wood cutting station is what I'm gonna call it. Yo, Roos, yo, it's fam. What's going on? All right, we got to sleep. I'm scared. We have tons of space to work with in here, though. Kind of what I was thinking was... Uh, I don't know if I want... I think I want cobble flooring in here still. But probably this height as well. 
And then I think what we're gonna do is that'll be one, two, three blocks high. Mm, I don't know if that's gonna be too low for a ceiling. Maybe. I might actually make it so that the flooring in here... I need to sleep, I forgot, I'm sorry. <laughs> so many mobs are gonna come out. Please try to avoid spamming a bunch, guys. Okay, so I think I'm gonna do like cobble flooring like this, and then that way, like the ceiling will sit a little bit higher for us. Oops. So I'm just gonna fill that in really quickly. I should probably get a couple more torches in here, I'm thinking. Yeah. There we go. Just want to light it up so I know it's not, like, gonna spawn a ton of mobs. Yo, Rofo, what's going on? Welcome back. How you doing? Oh, you're in a hotel now. Nice. Freedom on your way home. In a minute, you're having tomato soup. I love tomato soup. It's one of those, like, cozy soups, especially, like, if you're not, like, feeling the best. I really enjoy it. Tomato soup and grilled cheese is like one of my favorite like comfy meals, you know? Ooh, you just had five guys, nice. Treat yourself, honestly. You probably had a really busy day traveling. That's what I always do. If I have a busy day where I'm like traveling and stuff like that, I'm like, well, well friends, I guess there's no choice but to treat myself. All right, uh, what do we need next? Oh yeah, we're gonna build out the side portion of this really quickly, just so I know. It's gonna be like a little bit of an outdoor space. Just right here. And I'm gonna like build like a little wood cutting area, if that makes sense, with like little like saw blades and stuff like that. Yeah, everybody listen to Rofo, okay? Behave. You're getting your wisdom teeth removed on Monday and you're so scared. Oh no, it's okay. It's okay to be scared, honestly. Like, but it'll be okay, trust me. I got mine removed like later in life and it was, it was all right. <laughs> it was okay. You'll be, I, I, you'll have a speedy recovery. Don't worry, it'll be okay. Speaking facts, grilled cheese and tomato soup is the best. Heck yeah. Let's go. Okay, so if I go one, two, three, and maybe do like a pillar here? I don't even know if I want a pillar though. No, it's probably fine just attached to the wall, but I'm gonna mark this out with dirt. So this is gonna be like a little outdoor area. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and then it'll start right here. <clears throat> You're terrified of dentists and you survived. Yeah, I, I actually have like a little bit of a fear of the dentist too. Uh, let's go like this. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Put that there, except let's do like a stripped one. And then go up two more. And this will be our little outdoor area, so I'll just connect it with a roof really quickly. I'm gonna need more dark oak stairs. Ooh, you like making fancy grilled cheese. What is your fancy grilled cheese recipe? Sometimes I like like the classic grilled cheese, which is literally just like um, Wonder Bread and processed cheese, but like I do love a good fancy grilled cheese with like basil and tomato and like bacon and stuff like that. Okay, what do I need now? I need some more planks. Dark oak planks. Actually, no, I have some in my inventory. Let's 
grab these. Probably make a couple more. Let's just leave them right there. Oh, Ruth just got up. Big stretch. Actually, I'm going to take off my sweater really quickly. Hold on. Where do you stand on mac and cheese? Oh my gosh, I love mac and cheese. My favorite mac and cheese, though, like, don't get me wrong. I do love, like, a good homemade mac and cheese, but, like, I love boxed mac and cheese more than anything. And that's, like, another, like, comfort meal for me for sure is if I'm, like, having a bad day. I always, always go with boxed mac and cheese. Actually, hmm, I'm thinking I changed my mind on this. I want slabs instead. Let's make some slabs. There we go. Wait, how did we get on the topic of standing on top of mac and cheese and not eating it? What is happening in chat? I look away for like two seconds while I'm building and now you're all talking about standing on mac and cheese. Whenever I think of mac and cheese though, it reminds me of the movie It Takes Two and they're in like with um, the Olsen twins and then they're in like the mess hall and they have like the mac and cheese fight. I don't know if anybody has seen that movie and if they remember that. <laughs> it's so, it's such a random memory to have. Oh no, it's back, it's back. No. Get out of here. Thank you, Rofo. They're, they're back in full force today. They just came in randomly. You don't like mac and cheese, you're a picky eater who eats the same thing every day. Honestly, that's fair though. Like I can get that. I can um totally understand also that the fact that like mac and cheese is kind of like a weird texture as well like it in theory it really isn't that appetizing appetizing i could see so like nah nah no shade on that is this the middle point no i think we need to go one more there we go i forgot to use scaffolding i had it in my inventory i'm just going i'm going back to my old ways chat i'm going back to dirt <laughs> what is this Yo, Gubble, what's going on? Welcome in. How you doing? You've got an idea for how to stop them from coming up? Really? How? 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 Do share. Do share. Oh, Mitch, what's going on? Welcome back. Okay, I need to use my scaffolding again because I've stopped. I've gone back to my old ways of dirt and this is just embarrassing. There we go. And let's just do the same thing on this side and we're just gonna build up with planks and then that's it. And then we just need to fill it in with deep slate. Scaffolding OP. There we go. I think this height is good. So that's one, two, three, four blocks high. Let's see what it looks like. Yeah, that's good, that's good. Okay, I need to fill it in with deep slate really quickly. Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. I see what you mean, Rofo. I should get, definitely give that a shot after. That's actually a really good call. If we block out the words, maybe they'll just like not even be able to show up. Ooh, you picked up your new frames. Nice. What kind of what kind of specs you got? Did you get like some like um wire frames? Did you get like uh plastic? I've gone back to plastic frames. I had wired frames for the longest time, like circular glasses. But recently I got um, clear glasses, like the clear frames, which I've always wanted, but I thought they looked kind of goofy on me. But then I finally found a pair that like suited my face and I'm like very happy with them. All right, let's just finish off this side. 
actually we're gonna fill in the top part with deep slate too and then just do um slabs on top of that there we go Dolce & Gabbana is nice, nice. Plastic frames, yeah. Let's go. All right, I think... <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so bad at this. <laughs> like... <laughs> Also, I kind of love that cow, like, majestically looking at the sunset. <laughs> like, what is that? Can I get a screenshot with it in the back? I'm going to do that. Hold on. Oh, no, he looked away. No, look back. Look back. <laughs> Come on. Oh, there he is. Okay, I think I got it. I think I got it. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why that was so entertaining. <laughs> All right, we got to go to sleep. We got to go to sleep. Wireframes always mess with the top of uh, your nose with the pads. Yeah, I um, I remember that when I was younger. The last pair I had sit like perfectly on my face, but I do remember that being like super uncomfortable and you would get like the mark there. Since moving to plastic frames, you've been very happy. Yeah, I feel that. They are more comfortable, I find. Do I like chicken nuggets? I love chicken nuggets, especially with like sweet and sour sauce or ranch. Honestly, any excuse to like eat ranch, I'm down. I just really love it. <laughs> it's delicious. Can't wait to see me on one shot with those skills. Rofo with the like scale in which we're going to be building. I anticipate that I'm not going to be around very long. It's going to be very bad. I'm going to have a very abrupt ending. <laughs> All right, I want to do like, so this little side here is like all like roofed in and stuff like that. Super cute, right? So this is will be like the little logging station. But on this side over here, what I want is like a little like lean to that's going to house like a bunch of like logs that are ready to be cut up and stuff like that. So I'll just like have a pile of logs. So I'm going to make a little lean to right there. The cow is the protagonist of a new RPG. Yes. Look, he's still there. I love them. Should build them a little watchtower. You're making the floor out of water. Thank you. That is like, that's for like my own protection, honestly, at this point. <clears throat> All right. So what do we need for this? I'm thinking We'll get some of this. We'll get a couple walls. And I think we're going to need some um, fencing. But I think I already have that. Yes, I do. I'm going to make a little bit of dark oak fencing too. Because we're going to need it anyway. I don't have dark oak in my inventory. What? There we go. All right, let's get ourselves some dark oak fences. Boom. And for this, I guess this will be, okay. Well, let's start here. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, wait. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this start here and then it'll start one block in right here and I just have to match it up here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Sorry, Drift is in like mega build mode right now. <laughs> It's, it's the mega concentration mode where I'm just like literally talking to myself for a moment while I figure it out. <laughs> uh, when is the next stream? I might honestly do one tomorrow if I have time. If I have time, but I, I always let you all know in the Discord when I'm going live, like actually no, I, I announce it there. I always let you know a day before, um, like on the community posts if I'm going live. I should probably post it to Twitter too, but I always forget. I'm very bad with social media. Infinite focus, exactly. All right, yes, this is perfect. 
Okay, where's my scaffolding? But yeah, if I can fit in another stream tomorrow, I would love to because I have a feeling that this build, because I have to end stream in like half an hour, this build's not going to get done today, unfortunately. So I would really like to be able to kind of continue working on it tomorrow. And I think that's what we're going to do. We'll get as much done as we can now in the next half hour and then we'll finish it up tomorrow. So for this side here, maybe what we can do is, do we have any planks? Yes, we got lots of planks here. So maybe what I can do is I can scaffold up and then get them on top of here like that. Oops. See, this is the thing that confuses me about scaffolding. How do I... Wait, do I have to hold shift to like build more upwards? Because right now it's like if I don't hold shift, it builds it out. But then I have to go down to go up. That makes no sense to me. That's the one thing that like kind of confuses me about the scaffolding is getting it to go up more. Is that I like, I don't understand that. It's like, do I have to go all the way at, down to the bottom to add more or like... I feel like I'm making it more complicated for myself than it actually is. Yo, Nap Ninja, welcome back. What's going on? You need to aim it downward at the foot of it. Okay. Oh, or if you stand and look up, it'll build up. <gasps> oh! Look at that! Oh! I see. It's raining scaffolding. Oh, that's so cool. Thank you. I was like, I must be doing something wrong. Like, it can't be, it cannot be this complicated. It cannot be. You recorded your garden for the build comp. You finally got Java to recognize Optifine today. What was wrong with it? What issue were, were you having? It was so strange. I know I had issues when I would like, um, was updating to 1.19.2, which I ended up like obviously not using anyway because most servers are on 1.19, but it kept crashing my computer. Oops, that was a mistake. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do, yeah, I'll go up this way like this. We are learning today, chat. Yeah, we are, this is, this is um building with drift. But also, like, it's not even... I'm learning too, that's a thing. You're all teaching me, because I have no idea what I'm doing with all of this stuff. Uh. Alright, let's just finish off this little piece of the roof, and then I think we'll fill this in with, like, spruce or something like that. To keep it in theme, ow, with the build. Spruce or oak? Maybe oak, actually, because if, if we do spruce, it's literally just going to blend into the spruce wall behind it. So maybe we should actually switch it up and do oak instead, I think. The cow is still up there, and I love that. He's just like, I honestly feel like that cow is having the time of his life. You've been watching my content for a long time and just want to say I love your content. Also, how are you? Oh, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. And I'm doing great. How are you doing? Just hanging out today, and we're just like vibing and building. Having a cozy little stream. If Mojang puts seasons in the game, you'll spend hours making fall builds. Oh, totally. If seasons ever happened, I would love to see seasons where like you could, it could even be a function that you could like turn on and off. Like I would understand why some people wouldn't want seasons, but it would be a cool feature to be able to like have on and off every once in a while and stuff. Yo, Brian, what's going on? Welcome in. How are you? Oh, you had like the wrong type of Java. Interesting. Yeah, some every once in a while something goes like terribly wrong with my Minecraft and then I just like have to download a bunch of stuff until it finally starts working and I'm like, oh, <laughs> okay. Better MC as the seasons and it's adorable. Does it really? I didn't realize it had seasons. I've heard that um, better Minecraft is also like incredibly difficult though 
Like, I heard it. I was honestly, like, contemplating doing a series at one point, but then, like, a couple people told me that it's, like, no walk in the park. Like, it's actually very, very difficult. There we go. All right, that's pretty good. So this is, like, where all of the logs will be stored and stuff like that. Basically, the shape is pretty much done for the most part like obviously we need to fill in windows and stuff like that there but i think we're pretty well good with the shape so i'm gonna boat out just so y'all can see it like i it's it's still in that stage where it looks like kind of weird just because there's like nothing nothing special about it but I, this is pretty much what we have to work with and this is like the silhouette shape that you're gonna see on the river while we're like boating down which i really like like you can picture it once it has like all of the components to it. It'll be pretty obvious that it's like a log mill and campfires and stuff like that always help with detailing and stuff like that. It'll be super nice. The cow has a side quest for me. All right, let's see. Let's see what the cow has to say. I feel like he does have a side quest. Let's go see the cow. You tried better Minecraft back when Etho played it. <laughs> yeah, nice. I've seen a couple of people pop back into it recently and it, ooh, sun shower, except the, okay, it's raining and the sun's gonna go down. Let's risk it though. Let's go see what the cow wants. He most certainly must have a side quest for me. Hello. I heard you had a side quest for me. What's that? I can't, I can't do that. You can't, no. That's unreasonable. No, I'm not doing that. No. Absolutely not. Oh, you're just gonna walk away from this conversation then, huh? I see how it is. Well, good day to you. Rofo? I'm not- I- I don't even- that's exactly what he wanted. That's exactly what he wanted. He wanted me to get rid of the villagers. I'm not- not doing it. Not doing it. Totally unreasonable. I'm going to bed. Jeez. <laughs> what? You want- the wandering traitor? You want me to get rid of him? Why would I do that? That's wild. Oh, look, at the end of the rainbow, it's a bunch of burning zombies. Oh, that's so sweet. That's what's at the end of the rainbow. You're using this in, oh my God, can you please? <laughs> I, I literally just gave you fuel, Rofo. I literally just gave you fuel. Oh my gosh. So good. You want me to take a bath so I don't stink? No, I will never do that. Never. Yeah, I kind of loved that the rainbow had the zombies there. That was kind of epic. I honestly should have. I wish. Okay, I can go. I can always go back once stream's done to screenshot that because that was really funny. <laughs> We've had some really random moments on stream today, and I'm totally here for it, guys. It's, it's been a good one. It's been a chill one, but there's just been like random things happening where it's like, huh, that's a little bit peculiar. Yo, Roxy, what's going on? How you doing? All right, let's make a couple more slabs. I'm just going to finish up on something quickly. I think this, I want to build like a little bit of an awning here or something like that. Uh, if I do slabs across like that i never know which level the campfires sit properly because there's some like they'll like recess down too far and i always mess up like which level to place them on so i might end up wasting a couple campfires you'll see what i mean when i place them uh two campfires that's certainly not enough for us testing this out Twenty-three. That's great. <laughs> I certainly do not need twenty-three, but honestly, you know what? I probably do. With the amount of campfires we use in these builds, I probably do need twenty-three. K 
cow is secretly a demon trying to get me to do foul deeds for its amusement. Yes, exactly. Uh, it's been, yeah, it's been suspiciously chill for a chill stream. Okay. Oh, there we go. I got the scaffolding and go out. Okay. Oh, ow. <laughs> I'm still trying to figure this out, chat. Okay, now, there we go. That's what I wanted. Okay, okay. The problem is knowing me, like, the good thing about dirt is if you have to break one, you have a chance to like cancel that break if you need to. Cause if I realize like right now, like if I were to do this, I'm gonna fall. And at least with dirt, you can catch yourself quickly. The problem with scaffolding is it breaks too quickly. I'm just gonna get hurt. Okay. What happens if I place it here? E Should be fine. Yeah. There we go. I think that's fine because the problem is what I want now underneath the campfires, I want the trap doors to like sit on them. Okay, yeah, that's perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. I just wanted it so the trap doors would be able to sit on the campfires and not look awkward. And hopefully I placed it on the right level where, oops, these are gonna attach perfectly. Yes, it did. Okay, I did it right. I did it right. Look at that. I'm just gonna steal this. Uh-oh. What'd I do that for? There we go. Campfires and enchanted fish. No, not the enchanted fish. I need like an enchanted fish emoji now. I think it's only right, honestly. Remember I truly believed you all that enchanted fish exist? <laughs> all right, let's get ourselves some walls. I'm just gonna replace the bottom of these posts with walls, just to like ground them a little bit to the stone like this. That looks a little bit better. That is fresh. And then I'm gonna make a couple stairs, stone stairs that will lead up into this. Probably just like two right here, I'm thinking. Just like that. And that's pretty much it. All right, I think that's like pretty much good for today. We've got the main shape done. I basically want to detail everything out tomorrow and then get the Fletcher in there. I'll have more time to stream tomorrow. So instead of like, I know this is like a little bit more of a shorter stream than I normally do. How long have we gone for? Oh, two hours 50. Okay, yeah, that's perfect. So about three hours today, if I give myself like another couple hours tomorrow, like I think we'll be able to get this done with the Fletcher and all the decorating. We've got ourselves like a really good base to work with for now. Like, I think this is a really good start. Um, I'm really excited to detail it though. It'll look a lot better. Do I make my builds before building? I usually make most of my builds before building them in creative and then I just like rebuild them later, especially mostly for my long plays and stuff though. Um, just cause I find it's easier for me to go in with a plan knowing what I'm doing and knowing what resources I need. And yeah. Am I on keyboard and mouse? Yes, I am. Infinite fish, I kind of like that. That's kind of swag. <laughs> yeah, so I guess we'll wrap it up here today and I will try my best. I will probably stream tomorrow at the same time. Um, I think I'll probably just put in an announcement just so other people know. So probably same time tomorrow around 1.30, 2 o'clock. We'll be live here again. Um, if you're not in mine and Blockdown's Discord yet, definitely check it out if you're... I That was the wrong one. <laughs> definitely check it out. Um, join us. Hang out with us. That's where uh, a lot of us like hang out and show our builds and stuff like that. And just it's a very vibey place to be yeah all right everybody i'll see you tomorrow thank you so much for the fun chill stream today it was super fun oh i'm sorry rito we'll be back tomorrow though we will be back tomorrow i'll send out an announcement to uh soon so you all know what time all righty guys i'll see you later bye